Hey there everybody, it's Matt, and welcome to the beginning of our two-part Legend of Zelda special. Before we actually begin the show, however, I felt a bit of explaining was needed, because in typical Matt fashion, I forgot to do so until we were done with the show. So what happened was, we had several people that wanted to be a part of the show, but couldn't actually make it to the recording. So I went around and recorded them individually talking about their favorite Zelda game, and then just included their conversation when we get to their game in our in our conversation. So conversation inception, pretty much. Awesome? Cool. Alright, I'll let you get back to the show now. Enjoy. Bye-bye. What's up, Retro Gamers, and welcome to episode 14 of Game Overcast. On today's show, say it with me, boys. Excuse me, princess! And that is the only time you'll ever hear that statement from this God, show. God, I want to throw up. Yep, I know. it's okay, it's okay. All right, roll the intro. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sword must be asked in the form of a question. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 14 of Game Overcast. If you didn't guess, today we are talking about Zelda, or at least Zelda part. No, no this prin is princesses, this actually. Is the, the Legend of Link? It's the Legend of Link. The Legend of the Princess. Why do we care about Zelda? Brief, brief fun fact. Does anybody know that on the original Nintendo Monopoly, there's different, like, Nintendo <laughs> pieces? You guys remember this, right? Oh, yeah. I remember because we sent them back. Yeah. <laughs> there is a little Master Sword on the back, but it was called... Zelda's, Zelda's sword. sword. Not sword from Zelda. Zelda's no, or it sword was of Link. Zelda's, Zelda's sword. sword. So just, which was cool because you had like this awesome like Conan the Barbarian Zelda with a battle axe. Like, oh! <laughs> I'd yeah. play that. Wouldn't you play that? It'd be great. It wouldn't I would. be bad. So this is Zelda Games Part 1, everybody. We're actually splitting the Zelda show across two because for the past four episodes, we've been here all night. Chances are we'll be again, but I'm trying to alleviate some of the madness by splitting Zelda across two shows. So this show, we are talking about all non-3D Zeldas. So we're going a little yeah. bit out of timeline for that, but yeah. everything that's either top-down or side-scrolling Zeldas, oh God, or anything along those lines we will be discussing tonight. Sweet. Tonight, it is me, Matt, of course, as, you know, usual. I think I'm here. Am I here? You are. Yes, here. I'm here. Matt, though. Well, I'm okay with replicants. That's okay. I'm okay with that. You're telling me I'm a robot? <laughs> yes! You made it right! <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, and we're back in Houston with uh, Junior. Uh, how's it going, guys? He's kind of confused. It's like, what is this greeting? I'm like, is, that, is that my name? Who am Junior. I? That's yeah, that's me. Yeah! yeah. Hey, it's me, guys. How's it going? Welcome to the show. And John is back as well because he can't move right now. I cannot. But poor, I am here. Poor boy hurt his back, so we're just going to get up and do the jogging portion of the show later. He thought he was Link yesterday. That's, that's what yeah, happened. Yeah, I was, was doing some attack. sweet moves with... With a stick. Y'all remember the Star Wars kid. That was not me, but I tried to emulate him. <laughs> but he was his choreographer. Yeah. <laughs> I know you can uh -huh. swing this. <laughs> you know, I've had those, I hate to say, I know I'm not that old. I'm, uh, am I 31? I think I'm 31, right? Yeah, you're, you're, you're 31. You can just shut, shut up, up, buddy. <laughs> you're catching up real fast. But yeah, I'm starting to get no, those, getting that. those moments where it's like, oh, I'm not 16 anymore. I can't move that fast yeah. or move like that. Yeah. Just occasionally my body will be like, mm-mm. <laughs> Guess who's spending the rest of the day on the couch? <laughs> yep. 36 year old, yeah. You know, I'm not even going to what acknowledge. Do you think about it? 36 is not even that old. Not really. No. Yeah. Sure feels like it, buddy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> let's get rolling. Uh, do a little bit of now playing. Who wants to go first? Junior, you want to go first because you just raised your hand. It may have been a point there, John. Forced? Forced. What's that mean? I'm not sure. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favorite non 3D. No, no, no. <laughs> what are you playing now? Oh, Twilight. First of all, Twilight Princess, because I've never played it before. I started it about two, three weeks ago. It's, wow. It's really good. Is that the, which version are you playing? Uh, the HD Wii, Wii U one. Okay. The, the HD Wii Mix. The Wii, <laughs> <laughs> the Wii Mix. Why didn't they call it that? It, they should have, right? It's it's so good, though. They should have done all Nintendo of Nintendo's screwing up again. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for Honor. Haven't, checked oh, I haven't tried it yet. I do not it's like that. So good, y'all are crazy. Well, let, let, let me let me try to clarify. I don't dislike the game. I don't really think it's a sixty dollars game. I played the open beta for about two or three hours okay. and felt that I appreciate the high skill cap that it has. Yes. I like the graphics and the yes. stuff like that, but I feel as though in order to actually get good at the game, I'd have to spend a great deal of time, like a Street Fighter game. And it's by that like point. I'd be quite Halo. bored. Yeah, you're good at, you have to I can jump into Halo and just immediately be pretty good uh, well, at it. Well, that's but. you. Smash Brothers, I have to I have to get good at it. 
Well, yeah, but yeah. I just you suck at stuff. I enjoy <laughs> Smash Brothers after playing it for like six years. This game, I was kind of bored after like three uh, hours. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm liking it so far. It's it's fun. It's for okay. Me. The best part is like the dancing taunts with the uh, Those the mace guy. And the... If you've seen the, <laughs> Those the remakes, are just awesome. awesome. But otherwise, eh, but I mean, I get why people like it though. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just it's especially with so much coming out right now. Yeah. Which when we go around to me, I'll talk about. But I just don't have time for that. Yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, I think that's all I've been playing actually right now. Just those two games. Okay. Yeah. What's your job? Jonathan. Um, I'm going through uh, a link to the past again. Noise. Because I have problems, and <laughs> we'll get into why I like that game later, <laughs> which is sad. Um, we'll talk about that. I'm on also. The Zelda show, John. Yeah, on the <laughs> Zelda show. Um, I actually started playing the uh, the newer Doom that had recently come out. Ooh. I kind of ignored it for a while, and it's not hard. It's awesome though. It's just fun to play. Yeah. It's one of those that I, I can get out of work and kill some stuff and not have to go to jail afterwards. So. Well, I mean, hey, <laughs> we all benefit. <laughs> you know, I think the, uh, the 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 new Doom kind of captures what the old Doom has. Where it was it's just, just it was stupid, and... gratuitous violence yeah. and like the old Duke Nukem's and stuff. Mm-hmm. It, it was just fun. It's not. There's no deep meaning to it. I'm, I'm just shooting things. I'm very sad. A plethora of Duke Nukem quotes went through my head, and I can't say any of them on no. this show. <laughs> no, you can't. On any show. You know, there's things of steel and they're circular. But anyways. Yes. Um, <laughs> what about you, Matt? Several things, actually. So, Like seven I, things? To my regret and dismay and eternal pain and torment, I've been playing Resident Evil 7 in VR. Oh, tight. On the oh, PS4. I still need to pick it up. Yeah, I want to try that. Or I'll borrow it. <laughs> I want to. I want to just go on record by I saying it's well, a it's a brilliant game. It does amazing in VR, and I hate it with a righteous passion because it scares the heck out of that's me. That's a good thing, then. The no, I mean, that's scary. the point of the game. But yeah. it's the point where I don't know. I'm I'm I mean, I'm getting old and, and weak. But it's like when I played Alien Isolation, where I don't want to play the game because it's like oh, you know there's going to be that moment that something jumps out. And yeah, you're gonna pee a little. And, and Brit filmed just me <laughs> playing the game. So if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll probably edit in some of the shots of me just being a baby and going. Ah! <laughs> Um, nice. Yeah, it's it's completely genuine. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I've seen some of it. It's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> but I mean, if you love survival horror, it is just it is. But what do I call this? It's like a new genesis of survival horror. It's yeah. so good, mm. and it it would be good in, it, without VR. But in VR, it's just you're it, there. it's a complete game changer. Even though the the PSVR is not the greatest of the VRs <laughs> out there, price wise, you can't beat it. It is a good buy, and it actually has games unlike it, the yeah. Oculus. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's fun. Or the Vive. Well, the Vive's got some fun things. Yeah. But I, I like how the PS. I don't know for sure about the about the vibe, but it seems like Sony's actually giving legitimate AAA titles. They're trying support, this time, which is like great. They do with it's their like the move. Or, yeah, but it's good. Yeah. So I'm playing that. I'm playing uh, playing Neo, which is amazing. That one so good. I saw a trailer a gameplay, and I'm like, yeah. why haven't I picked this up? Dude, it's so good. It's, it's so this, good. This beautiful blend of like Bloodborne with samurai and oni, and but it's also like. You know, RPG ish, yeah. like the, the different weapons that you pick up. And, yep. and it's, it's like a Bloodborne, so it's got the, you know, the stats oh, yeah, yeah, and the leveling. Bloodborne does that, yeah. Um, yeah. There's a stance system where you have a high stance, medium stance, and low stance, and that changes How the way you, you do your weapons. Awesome. Super great game. Because it's like Samurai, right? He's a Samurai? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. So you're, you're like a pirate who became a Samurai. And okay, that's, I don't know, he's a pirate. Allegedly, it's, it's loosely based on an actual person. Huh. Okay. Um, but great game, incredibly finger bleedingly difficult. But I, I just love it to death. There's nothing wrong with that. No, it's it's a it's good really challenge. good. And you, it, unlike Bloodborne, it doesn't take 20 minutes to load between deaths, so yeah. it's not quite so punishing. It's like I'm dead. I guess I can go get a drink <laughs> in the next city. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I'm playing that, and then actually just like two days ago, um, some of my buddies got me back into the, the, the division on PC just because really? it was cheap. Back in. Oh well, yeah. It's 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 fun just to play with groups, and they did lots of patches to it, so there's actually things to do now. Like you don't fall through the the, the floor. floor. No, I remember oh. that was so amazing. <laughs> I think you and I were trying to play, and I was like, "I'll be there in a minute." 
yeah. fell through trying to go into this building, yep. walked back into the area after it reloaded, fell through the same spot, oh, had to uh, tiptoe. Couldn't cross the street. <laughs> I could not cross this area just to walk into a building, so I had to tiptoe around it. So far, there's only been one bug. And in the, in the, if you have played The Division, when you first start the game, you hop onto an Osprey, and it gets blown up, and there's a scene of you being dragged away. Mm. Um, right as I was getting off that the second helicopter... You could see my guy's face, and you're just going, but that, but that, but that, but that, but that, but that, but that. <laughs> like while she was talking to him, it's like, my God, he got hit harder than he thought he did. <laughs> Give that boy some aspirin. <laughs> but that is about it, and I am eagerly anticipating great many things. You know, currently it is what Wednesday, guys. Yeah. So the switch comes out in like next Friday. 10 days. Yeah. yeah. So I've got that, and then before that, there's Horizon Zero Dawn. That's right. I need Horizon. to pick that up too. I'm a too. Busy, good. busy man, really dude. That's one of the reasons why I'm not getting for honor because I'm gonna. There's gonna be so many other yeah, massively time really sync games coming yeah. out. Yeah. It's like a boy got to split up his time somehow, man. I mean, mm-hmm. and being a being a samurai is cool. I can do it better than Neo. I just like RPGs. It looks tight. Yeah, well, it's gonna be sweet, but awesome, awesome. Did you uh, look up that game Agony? Yes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> another yep. survival horror game. Agony is. I, I didn't look at the actual plot. It just looks like you're you're in hell. Yeah, you're in hell trying to escape. It looks like, and I'm okay with it. It's very visual. I I think that's going to be gorgeous nice art thing. style. It's very very disturbing and pretty. And yep. Lots of red, surprisingly. A lot enough. of red you're in hell. Lots of shades odd. of red. Yeah. Blood. Lots cool. of yeah. shades of red and black. It could be tomato sauce. Tomato. Tomato, tomato sauce. sauce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or tomato sauce, even if you prefer. <laughs> Bling. <laughs> Lock, missile lock on warning. Um, <laughs> sweet. So I've got a. Uh, I like to go around and you know, ask a little question before we get into the main topic every time. So this time I decided it would be Zelda related. Um, of any, and we can go ahead and do 2D or 3D Zelda in this case, but what is your favorite weapon or gadget? From, from any Zelda game Ooh, ever. That, that's kind of hard. It is kind of hard. I, on, I figure I know exactly what yours would be. Really? All right. I'm curious what you think mine would be. I bet you it was going to be an ocarina because you have one. No, I have it because I think they're interesting instruments. No, my if I could make it work, I want a hook shot. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> For all the shoulder dislocating glory. But I want the one, I think it was Twilight, where you get the double. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I just I imagine like actually. steampunk Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Link. I don't know. I like the sand rod from, uh, from what's the number of them to have it. You know, the sand rod where he pulls up the sand? You don't like the sand? I go to beaches and, like, find some treasure in the sand. <laughs> I can see Junior on the beach. That's funny, like, oh, I can't believe you like Was this. that from Skyward Sword? No, no, no. No? Okay, well, I, I don't They I... had that in uh, Link Between Worlds. They oh, had I didn't that in the Link Oracle Between games, Worlds. too, I think, or it was oh, a Minish Cap. You made me up. One of the games. No, Minish Cap was, had, the, had the, the, gust, the gust jar and the... Uh, gust jar was kind of cool. Yeah, that one's awesome. Link Between Worlds had, like, a gust thing, too. A gust As a fan, yeah. As a fan? You just plug it in. It's one of those oscillating fans. I can hang out and have some lemonade. It's good. Legend of Zelda, Cooking Mama edition. <laughs> Junior's favorite weapon, <laughs> you just Deku see, Stick. You guys ever played? Yeah, you guys have all played stick. Cooking Mama, right? Yeah, no. a little no. bit. Barely. I've never played it. It's you know, Cooking Mama is just it's it's guess. a touch screen. They're cooking in it. And there's Mama. Oh crap. Yeah. Um, and you, so you have to like blow on the mic and stir things up with the stylus. But whenever you screw up, um, Mama gets on screen and goes, "Mama will fix it." With like her like <laughs> eyes on fire and stuff. It's like, Whoa. So that's you. Know, she's like, "Mama will save Zelda." And she goes riding off to the main screen. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's I mean, they've done Stranger Things. I'd, I'd play that. You have to like you know like cook again and like it's cooking Mama and Kirby to save the day. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> But I believe it is just about break time, even though we're actually, wow, we're making amazingly good time, guys. This is great. So cool, cool. Anything else cool going on video game-wise you want to talk about before uh, we take a break? No. Like, you and me knocked our hook shooting out in the amazing. I was expecting... It yeah, no, hook shot would be too fun. Cool. I'm trying to get the hook shot it, now. It would not Can work. Can we talk about how, how to... <laughs> how to actually make them work? No, no, well, how to help me get it, because I'm actually stuck in Twilight Princess right now. No. I'm in the heavens. Figure it out. You're an adult. Well, fine. You're an adult. Aw. You know how to use I mean, game facts, right? A wise 40 year old and a wise. <laughs> you're, you're just keeps getting, just, I'm going to be 200 by the end of the show. I'm like, thank you for listening to Game Overcast. I don't know why I also have an accent all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm getting older and strangely European. I don't know. I still play Skyward Sword. No, you don't. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> It's the beginning, guys. Yeah, yeah okay. It's the beginning. 
That's why I that's want where, to play. That's where Wikipedia comes in. I don't in. like Wii Or books, that green book but... behind you over there, actually. Yeah, that green book that I read through one day and went, really? really? <laughs> the game. We'll talk, we will talk about that, my friend. <laughs> we will talk I about mean, that. I mean, that's a stretch, but okay. Uh, you know you know when I'll play all the way through Skyward Sword? When, uh, they, re, when they re-release it for the Switch without the dang... Okay, yeah. That's when I'll play it. Then they're probably going to do that. That, that final fight Nintendo. annoyed the heck out of me just because I, I couldn't get them to do the that's attacks I, I wanted. I never played Twilight Princess. I never got it for GameCube, and I couldn't play it on the Wii. Yeah, the controls in it were crap. Can we just say this now? and have it forever be the truth that Link is lefty. Link is a lefty. Link for, is a lefty. Forevermore, the games are just mirrored. You know the odd thing? <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't have been that hard just to switch hands with the controller. I was sad. True. I was offended, okay? Oh, I was offended. Sure. I wrote a stern letter to, to Mr. Nintendo. Really? Um, well, Mr. Mr. Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> Mr. Nintendo oh my himself. God. Wow. He's a very tall building in the sky. <laughs> just, yeah, just sitting no up one there cares making, that you're left-handed. Making, making poor design choices. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But no, I don't. I never saw why they changed that. Yes, I know that the vast majority of people in the world are right-handed, but really, it's just switch the controller. My thumb works the same on both hands. Eh, they probably would have confused a bunch of people. And everybody was arguing. You mad. learned. Evolve or die. People are not the smartest. <laughs> <laughs> Beat this boss, or it will explode. <laughs> You know, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> this is suddenly Sword Art Online, the Zelda edition. <laughs> Your system just melts. <laughs> no. <laughs> was Did we talk about Nier on the last show? Uh, I don't remember. Where it deletes your save file? No. Oh, you told me about it. Okay. I don't remember what we talked about. So, oh, show, if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but I thought it was worth mentioning because we're talking about melting systems. Um, the original Nier. 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 That's, Nier. Hair, that's hair remover. Nier. 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 <laughs> Phonetic games. <laughs> um. Well, it's N I E R, so I always thought it was like ne- Nair. Nair. It's near though. Nair. It's near. It's near. near. I near. thought it was Nair too. I couldn't. Whatever. I couldn't it's okay. It out. Um, had a really really cool uh, like true ending. You had to beat the game multiple times to get the true ending. Yeah. Um, and I forget exactly what you had to do to get to it, but after you've played the game like twice or three times, you get the true ending, and the only way to get that ending is for everyone to forget your character. Yeah. Completely. And that includes deleting all of your save progress. So start over. So like 90 hours in, bye-bye. Yep. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad thing. That's an interesting right idea. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is dedication. It's like Diablo 2, where I used to play. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hardcore characters, buddy. Yeah. You're screwed. <laughs> but that's fine. All right, so we'll take a quick break, and we will be right back with some discussion of uh, the kid with the pointy ears, what has no pants. Yep. He's got pants. Now he does. Sometimes. Yeah. Sort of pants. I mean, they're like stockings. Yeah, yeah. He's got a sword though, so it doesn't matter. Look, bro, if I could rock a tunic, I'd rock a tunic too. Yeah. Man. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I think I. That's true. I got hairy legs. If I could I don't know what work. Rock that little beanie cap thing. He's got. Two beanie cap it. thing. Well, what is it called? I don't know. It's, or a he bird. stole it from the Keebler Elves, whatever it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's Link living in a tree making cookies. <laughs> Zelda being hijacked away. So it's away. Ocarina of Time again. Oh. <laughs> it's like Ocarina of Fudge or something like that. <laughs> All right, this we will my be. Fudge flute. <laughs> <laughs> Just play a merry little song. <laughs> Just follow my nose. Why am I on cereal all of a sudden? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll be back before this gets any worse. <laughs> Want to be the first to know about the newest cool things going on at Game Over? Tired of being the last person to hear about that epic sale? Then sign up for the Game Over Video Games newsletter. Every week, you'll get an email with all the awesome events and sales happening at your local store, plus exclusive coupons that only you can use. All for free. Head to any Game Over store to sign up or just go to GameOverVideoGames.com. It's that easy. In fact, it's so easy, you kind of wonder why you haven't signed up already. Okay, so we're talking non-3D Zeldas. So the way I figured we could do this is um, we'd go around and probably talk about our individual favorites. Um, knock, kind of knock them off the list here. <coughs> At part of me. Um, of the non-3D ones? Yes. Mm, okay. And then I'll go, and then I have a list of all of them that we can talk about. The ones that I missed, so we can just go over. Because each one had its own little neat things. Yeah. And they all kind of sucked anyway, so I mean, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> all right, let me just <laughs> let me just go first, because mine's going to be quick. Sure. I've said this before on, I think it was the Star Wars show. I don't like the original Zelda games that much. I don't dislike them. Okay. Yeah, it was. I was in Dallas. Um, okay. I don't dislike them a whole lot. It's just that I was not a Nintendo boy growing up. I mean, I'm yeah. s- everyone knows this. I was you a Sega you, kid. You did Sega. So I don't have the rose-colored Nintendo glasses. So yeah. I went back and I played. My first Zelda was Ocarina of Time, which we'll talk about next month. Okay. Um but I've since gone backwards, like so many other things, like Final Fantasy VII was my first Final Fantasy, and then I went backwards. Yeah. Um, so some cases, like Final Fantasy, I had an appreciation for six and four and stuff like that. 
The original Zeldas are just kind of like, eh, they're there. I can appreciate what they did and you know where, where they took gaming and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I played Land Soccer first, and you can jump in that game, and you can't jump in yeah. any freaking Zelda games. It drove me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but if I actually had to pick one that I've played more than any of the other ones and actually played through more than once was Minish Cap. Maybe because okay. it was portable, and I just loved the look of things. Because Link had this... It was right after Wind Waker. Because Wind Waker came out, and then it was one of the Four Swords, I think Four Swords Adventures. And then Minish Cap came out. So it was still at this like cute little like whimsical cartoony Link saga. Yeah. Um, With little Pikachus in Like, there. Link would walk, and his little ears would bounce in the game, and he was so cute. <laughs> but the gadgets were awesome. I loved the shrinking mechanic for some reason, where you could be like, little cute... The, little, the, the Minish people, or the... Mm-hmm. Pic- Picori. Picoris. Um, they were so cute. Mm-hmm. They're like these cute little things. Definitely not looking like Pokemon whatsoever, but whatever. They look just like Pikachu's. <laughs> they don't. They do. Junior has a theory. And they're yellow. And they're Picoris. Pikachu. They're so similar. That, that, was, that was an interesting way to link that. Yeah. Yeah. Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd say that was my favorite. You know, the, the mole gauntlet. I like this. Okay. I like the gadgets. Um the camera was zoomed in a little bit more because you could have more detail, so just everything looked a little bit prettier and brighter. And it was just better. Like, I don't hate the old Zelda games. It's just kind of like, mm. yeah. I won't go back and play them four or five times over. In the same way. Like some people at this table John. on the show here. John mm-hmm. loves them. Possibly John. But uh, we'll save John for last because I know what he's going to pick. Okay. Um, I think I know what Junior's going to pick too, but I'll let you go ahead and um, what you got, Junior? Mm, yeah, out of, yeah, out of these um, <clears throat> non-3D Zeldas, Link Between Worlds. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> it's so fun. And you know what? Probably the things that people didn't like about it. Were the reasons I, why you like it. I yeah. loved it. See, it was different. You're right. And yes, I get that it's not what normal Zeldas do, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to find me some money so I can buy these weapons instead of having to find them. So I can just have them with me. I'm a hoarder. So I can just hoard all the weapons at the beginning and then I went to go do everything. That's awesome. That drove me nuts. Why wouldn't you want to do that? I see. It and I, makes it easy. I mean, it makes it easier for you. Exactly. I'm not. And see, we'll, we'll get. To, I actually have parts on this later, and we'll get to it at some point. But um, I didn't like. So I didn't like the the item meter. And I didn't like the uh, the rental weapons. One of the cool things about any Zelda game I've noticed is the the progression and the rewarding feeling you get where I'll, I'll, I'll cite the later Zelda games because I've played them multiple times but you know you start off and you don't have anything you yeah, have a, you know, a each, sword a crappy shield gives you something different and yeah. so you have to work for it right. and it gives and you have that like that glorious feeling where it's like I don't have to use bomb flowers anymore thank god it's awesome yes. let me just go to Blockbuster and buy a bow <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying though I get Blockbuster was a video rental store by the way <laughs> <laughs> I get what you're saying and yes I had the same feeling but having a different exciting feeling with this one because it was different it was because you could hoard all the stuff exactly and not work for it no wonder you play pokemon all the time (laughs) (laughs) because i hoarded my pokemon he never actually fights them he just keeps them in his balls and and snuggles with them you do know you play a game that promotes slavery yeah (laughs) (laughs) it's okay he's like it's all right i I feed them mer candy have a series of well-fed diabetic pokemon on my pc okay they have no choice they're stuck in a ball they still love me. Sure. Just like my weapons let, love me. Let for me using ask you them. a brief. Yeah, that's right. They have feelings. I don't know why the first thing that popped into my head was the singing sword from Roger Rabbit. <laughs> it's wicked witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> he starts singing. Yeah. Uh, I love that sword. <laughs> Sorry. What so, a brief Pokemon question, Junior. I've uh-huh. always pondered this, but I've never asked you, the clear and present Zelda freak, Pokemon freak, oh. energy drinks. Um, <laughs> so. When a Pokemon is inside of a Pokeball, what happens to it? It doesn't exist. Thank you, Junior. I'd you like sound a lot more uh, <laughs> cynical than you used to. <laughs> I'd like to think that it's his own little world inside of there. And he's got, he just gets like miniature and he's just, the it's so big, it's a big room for him. And he just has his little. So essentially, on the inside. It's a pocket universe. It's the grid. Basically. Yes. Exactly. Every Pokeball a is a bag of gold. Exactly. So how would you explain when they, like, when they, you know, did you ever have a dream where you could, and you could do whatever you wanted? Um, I'm trying to think of how to describe this. Like, <laughs> in the show, the Pokeballs just shoot out little beams of energy and like, vaporize the Pokemon and suck them into it. Like the, yeah, they, they like just, the grid. It's, exactly. yeah. <laughs> I, I guess you're right, yeah. <laughs> just, they turn them into... Them into it digitizes them. That makes them so much more cool. <laughs> yeah, right? 
But then the Pokeballs not... are the Matrix. <laughs> but then that goes to saying that they're digital monsters. They are. Oh, but Illuminati. They're <laughs> Illuminati again. But they're not. They're not Digimon. They're Pokemon. Sure. It's different. But they're digital for a little while. <clears throat> Actually, I'd say you think a Captain so wait, Pokemon is mostly what, digital. What happens though? Okay, so Digimon takes place in like the computer thing, right? I, I never the played Digimon. Thing. Could never get into yeah, it. Yeah, it's like it's all digital. Well, digital so what if when they're <laughs> in the ball, you mean analog monsters? <laughs> when, when they when they go in the ball. Then they become Digimon no, 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 no. and have a corresponding so, representation. Wait, so, no, no. Yes, so when Charizard or Charmander no, no, goes no, into the no, ball, no. he becomes Agumon? Yeah, That's sure. I don't know Agumon, right? That's not what's going I, on. Did, did I do good? Y'all are twisting the words. But you just said Yes, that they, they become go... digital monsters. But not Digimon, oh. though. This is a show about explanations. Dude, the truth will set you, <laughs> you free. You put that song on this video. I'm just, it's like a very... <laughs> it's copyright well, claim well, over I and mean, over if again. We go, if we go off of Tron logic on the grid, time r runs way slow. Wow. So, so they could live age. they could live out their entire little existence as Digimon on the grid and then get Pokemon. summoned to fight uh -huh. as Pokemon that's in the so other cool. reality. Yeah. So, so that's why they made Digimon. Because Pokemon. Well, no, I mean, it, technically at that point it would just exist Pokemon, at the same time. Pokemon are becoming digital. Isn't this a Zelda in show? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a Digimon show. No. That'd be a really fast that's show. Happened. There were like lots of crappy animes. <laughs> no one yeah. cared. Although there were lots of robots, <laughs> though, so it's okay. Every, every, every well, people care because they're still Mon. making them. Really? Yeah. Digimon? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're, they're releasing the late, this thing on Blu ray later, later this <laughs> oh, summer. Oh, goody. It's like Digimon Trier. I'm so a happy you know that. For Pokemon. Really? Because Pokemon's awesome. What happens this time? I don't know. Something with Does Ash, Ash lose again? He does something. <laughs> the perpetual I loser. I forever. Yeah. I just love how Ash lost and because of. Did you know he's back in school, though? Yeah. And they're saying then he went back to school because like <laughs> you're so bad at being a Pokemon trainer, you need to go back and make sure you learn how to you know how to spell and pretty much. Maybe I should too because I can't speak anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking about so Pokemon willingly. Zelda? What's wrong with me? that? Was a quick question. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Just a quick question. Well, it was a quick question and a long answer. Yes. Fair enough. Um, I suppose. All right. So Junior's favorite game on Zelda is Pokemon. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so John, why is Link to the Past your favorite Zelda game? Uh, <laughs> honestly. Um, it's easy to get into. It's nothing complex. It, it's a simple game. It's just like why I like Super Metroid and the older Mario's. They're just, it's easy to get into. It's fun to play. I can remember pretty much everything in it, which is kind of sad that I will continue to play it, but it's one of those time wasters. I've seen him play it. He do it with his eyes closed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're forgetting very important bits, though. But the, the major reason why I like uh, that one, that was the one that really got me into Zelda. Hmm. Was Link to the Past was the first one I beat. And it sounds corny, but I used to sit there and play it with my grandmother. She would read the uh, instructions for me mm -hmm. if I got lost as a kid. And that's, awesome. that's how I'd get through the game. So that's why it sits in my heart in a little special locked up deep, deep, deep down place. There's the John we know. <laughs> Somewhere deep on the inside, there's the heart of a child regularly getting stomped on by a bull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now the bull. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I mean... But John, what about Bunny Link? I... All right, I laugh every time I see that. But still, <laughs> I don't even know what they were going for with so that. Does it actually make him go fast? No, no, he just... He becomes a pink bunny. Yeah, the first time he goes to the dark realm, he turns yeah, into a bunny. the first time you have to get the uh, pearl in order to stay yourself whenever you're in the dark world. Okay. Dark world is a realm of furries, Junior. Yes. It is. Well, yes. and ball people and demons, whatever. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, you become the representation of yourself. And but, he's a rabbit. And he's a rabbit. And I don't get it. I don't. I still can't understand what they were going with. But I just, it's a 10-minute section, so I didn't question it too much. You don't stay that way for long. Right. But it's still famous. Peter. That's pretty cool. Bunny Link. Well, that's bunny why Link. they have the bunny Link in, or the bunny ears in No, that Smash? was a different thing. That was from our No, that, time. that started in Ocarina. It made you go faster. That actually did make so you, you go faster. So you could beat the postman. So that makes sense. Yeah, I think the postman gave it to you. The postman no. Did, did, yeah. Oh, did you get it from the shop? You get it from the shop, I yeah. can't remember. You can beat the postman by rolling, but yeah. that's cheating technically, sir. No, it's not. You're, You're still really, really good. Yeah. It's not cheating. It's just helping. Uh, secondly, I actually really liked it, the adventure of Link, or Link's adventure, or whatever they the called it. One? Yeah, the, the adventure. Side. Secondly, he liked the second Zelda. I liked <laughs> the second Zelda oh, game. <laughs> And for a really bad reason. But a lot of people didn't like that one, right? I know, no. And there's a lot of reasons you shouldn't like it. It's because if you didn't have Nintendo Power, terrible. <laughs> it was ter it was 
worthless to play it. I mean, there were sections in the game where you didn't know where to go unless you had some cheat device that told you where. That's and nice. it was very confusing. I, I found the Adventure of Link kind of took what Zelda, the first Zelda did in a cool way, where it kind of left you alone to your own devices, but you could kind of find out what was going on. Yeah, and then they Zelda just kind of took it all away. It was equivalent of like leaving <laughs> you blindfolded in the desert. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, okay, good luck. <laughs> You know how Castle? You guys ever play Castle? I know you have, John. You ever play Castlevania Two, Junior? Of course. It, how everything is very kind of cryptic because it wasn't translated very, very well. So yes. people will tell you what to do, but it's sort of like this weird, kind of like that, but without any cryptic people talking. It was just sort of like, here you go. Yeah, oh, it just three. It just it. throws you in. Oh wow. And I mean, well, I guess we'll get into why uh, or why we don't like some of the originals later. Yeah, but I, I can, I can tell they you. Does he kiss Zelda at the end of that one? So, does he like like Sleeping Beauty her or something like that at the end? Or? I can't remember. I know, like you, yeah, you know, you, know, you kiss her to wake her up, genius. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, he he's knocks her out. I'm, I'm still, I'm still confused her. which Zelda that is. So I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she asleep which, at the end and he wakes her up? Yes, no, because no, she's asleep at the beginning. I mean, you start the game oh, in this like sort of Greek esque. Yeah, it's like it's like, like a pillars like, and stuff. It's like a tomb. Yeah, and she's just like, and she's just on, on this <laughs> platform, and then you start the game there, and it doesn't tell you what to do. Yeah, you have to read the instructions where she she's been put into a, a mystical sleep by a dark Sleeping wizard. Beauty. Okay. Yeah. Essentially, yeah, it. it, it's weird. And you wake her up with some smelling salts. <laughs> yep. You're just kind of like, wake up, Zelda. <laughs> Come on, we got we got to make a better game. Yeah, <laughs> that's the last one. No, for oh. for what it's worth, Zelda Two did. I appreciate how they tried something radically I, different. I liked that you could level things up. I thought cool. that was cool. That yeah. they kind of made it slightly more RPG-ish more RPG ish yeah. instead of just straight action adventure. Because a lot of folks call Zelda an RPG, and I usually very strongly disagree with it. Because you don't have stats. You, you don't, don't have really stats. Have you gear. don't. You don't level yourself in yeah. any way, except for the two. I mean, it, like, it's got it could very I think very loosely be considered it's that role the, the new one, Breath of the Wild, with the actual like with the different weapons that degrade and stats is much more RPG than say Wind Waker or Link to the Past, yeah, or, or the original Zelda. Yeah, those um, were just adventure games to me as a kid. Mm-hmm. Two, you legitimately leveled up though. You right, could right, level yeah. up your magic or your uh, attack, your attack, health, right? Yeah. And then it had other cool stuff like you know how uh, Link has a magic meter in the newer games. Yeah, that's sort of this. Yeah, you know how Link has that. In Smash was that really annoying sword dive thing? That started in there. That started in this, yeah. So yeah. some cool stuff was definitely taken from the game. Yeah. As far as the gameplay style, though, never used it again. <laughs> no. It was bye-bye. Although it did have a top-down. The world map was top-down, right? Uh, sort of. Yeah, sort of top-down. Um, as far as, like, top like but, Final Fantasy. But then was. you went into the side-scrolling every time you went into a level. <clears throat> yeah, that was unique. I thought um, it was weird that the monsters couldn't attack you on the road. Why not? It's just a road. Oh, he touched the dirt. He's safe now. They're polite. They're very polite oh, monsters. Oh, he didn't want to fight. What you don't know <laughs> is that there was a sign at the beginning of the game to mm-hmm. keep off the grass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> but So that was that. And then um, Link to the Past, I thought, you know, for what it was, it really was pretty much them just saying, hey, that first Zelda did pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. Pretty good pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Let's just do that much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> like, much bigger with a lot more stuff and yeah. armor. And, and you really couldn't go in any order. You had to go through the dungeons in certain orders, mm-hmm. at least for the most part. Now, I've got questions stuck in here. I'll just start asking them here. But okay. So a lot of people I've spoken to um, over the years, I ask them, what's your favorite Zelda? Chances are they'll either say Link to the Past or Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Of time. Yeah. Um, Everybody so, says Ocarina of Time. Exactly. Um, valid, they're both good games, but the question here, this could be a show in its own right. But okay. Is Zelda overrated? Are specific Zelda games overrated? And then how would you attack that? Now, hang on a second. Let me try to let me give some boundaries because I have issue with the way some people take this apart. Because you have to look at Ocarina of Time. And let's say you've never played a Zelda game before. Right. Mm-hmm. I say play Ocarina of Time right now. You probably won't like it because the menus are trash. The targeting system is kind of dated. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's but, kind of, but you got to think that was N64 did not have the best exactly. controls. Exactly. Well, My point, exactly. You, you Playing have it to, on the GameCube was a little no, easier. Better. The 3DS is a lot yeah. better. Well, you, yeah. you have to take it in context works really well. is the thing. That's what it is. You can't, yeah. you can't just say, well, if I'm going to compare Zelda to Horizon Zero Dawn, well, Ocarina of Time is not going to be that good in comparison. You have As to a, take, no. kind of take it in stride. Right. Um, the same thing can be said for Link to the Past. Do I think that some of these games might be a little bit overrated? Perhaps. I think Ocarina of Time was my favorite. First one, like mm-hmm. that's the first Mine Zelda too. I played. 
But yes, I do feel it is overrated. Everybody loves that game, and it's it was a great game. It was it was like when I say overrated, at no point am I saying these games aren't masterpieces because yeah. I'm already sure I'm, a lot of people are angry at me because mm-hmm. I don't know. I apparently know nothing about Nintendo games, which is quite possible. <laughs> um, and I don't like Zelda a whole lot, so I'm just <laughs> there's a target on my face. Yeah. <laughs> But as a fan, I can tell you, yeah, I think they're overrated. Okay, yeah, thank you, John. Exactly. Thank you. I like them for the reasons I like them, and that's it. I don't mm. think that there's anything grand about them. They're fun to play to me, but no, they could have been improved. I mean, not every Zelda is as good as Windmaker. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> or Majora's Mask. To be continued. Yeah. For me, it also goes to you know, having a, 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 a cool or a crazy timeline. I love games that have a great I didn't long need a timeline. Stride of games. You didn't need a timeline. I didn't need a timeline. Well, I, didn't need I kind a of time well, I kind of took them as just some weird multiverse. Do Do you guys oh, want to talk okay. about the timelines now? Because I have that on there also. I, mean, I have we a question can. about the timelines. They don't make a whole lot of sense they to don't. me. We ha- we actually happen to have the only official reference material for Zelda with us, which is the Hyrule Historia. Junior, you want to flip to the timeline really quick? Sure. Um, and while it takes him a half hour to do that, we'll keep talking about yeah. over it. So. <laughs> no. it's, like, it's like randomly in the middle of the it's book. Right so. here. I, I was looking at it earlier. I kind of took it as Final Fantasies. And they were better like that, I think. And uh, and I know that doesn't, because they do reference some things that could have occurred, but mm-hmm. I take it as just essentially multiverse thing. There's multiple universes with these different links and different Hyrules, and these different stories were told in each one. Yeah. Except for the to... first games where there were no real stories, you just played the game. Well, and... so, you know, here's a sword. Well, the it's still yeah. cool to think it's, it's all the same Hyrule, or it's all the same whatever, but... The links are different. It's, it's, well, it's, no, they explain that even in the book, that it's not the same person. Right. They're, they explain it to where it could either be their, an ancestor or yeah. someone that they named after the great hero. And, and I get that, like but that. I didn't need it. It's the legend of Gregory. That's what, but that's, for, okay, I understand you don't need it. For right. me, that's cool. That's, that's what I really like about the Zelda series. <laughs> Just for the record, hey, if, if Junior got quiet, folks, it's because he's I'm, talking all over here. I'm looking at John. Sorry. <laughs> don't, you don't look at people he's when you so talk beautiful. to them. How rude could you oh, be? Right? Did you? T- did your mama teach you nothing about manners? She did not. You look at the ground when you talk to people, I Junior. Like and shuffle and kick your feet and mumble. You're like, I don't know. But like Kingdom know. Hearts, great, crazy storyline. Pokemon, well, you were right about you were right about the crazy part. It's, yeah, it's not Kingdom really Hearts storyline story. is a mess. It's not bad, but it's a mess. <laughs> it is and a mess. Please. Please challenge me on that, listeners. Please. I'm sorry. It's a mess. Every, everybody yeah. should agree it's a mess. I agree it's a mess. But it's cool. The fact that it's been how many years and we still don't have a three yet, but we've had so many oh, bloody man. spinoffs with but, characters that didn't need to be there yet. Oh, great. All the, all the spinoffs are great, Matt. Even, even the, the card, card game? Even the, the card car- game. Wow. No. It's great. So, I loved it on GBA. I know I'm a blind Sega fanboy, so I can sniff a... <laughs> A uh, blind Kingdom Hearts fanboy, <laughs> and uh, so his fun. name is Junior. The I, card game was terrible. Oh it's just because there's Disney podcast. there. How about that? You know what? We need to. We, we, we need we to. We should. Yeah, I'll tear that apart. That, yeah, that's coming. I'll that's coming. Build, build it back up. <laughs> build it back up. One, one yeah. Keyblade at a one time. One Keyblade at a time. And just for the record, the Keyblade looks like the least comfortable thing to hold in the universe. They have like, different ones, though, and they're all shaped differently, so I'm sure they have, one of the, them is the, actually the, more comfortable The hilts than are all Keyblade. freaking key things, though, and it's just like, No, no, man. no. If you've, if you've seen all of them, they all look... I don't think I've seen all of them, because I haven't played... I actually, well, that's your fault. I haven't played any of the spinoffs. None. Well, that's true. I played a couple of them. I just didn't finish them. I'm Too waiting. bad for you. Too bad for you me. You need to play him. So, Junior, look at that that timeline right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go back to Zelda. I think the issue with the timeline is we were talking about how they worked as a kind of separate Final Fantasy thing where you might have relations here, you might have bits and pieces there, but when you tie it down, it becomes kind of a mess, which yeah. is why you have three separate timelines, according yeah. to yeah. officially with Nintendo. At, at one point, it all splits. Yeah. And even there, they left themselves an out, yeah. saying, like, this is just what we know. So when Breath of the Wild comes out and completely skews everything... I feel like, okay... <laughs> they can change everything. In one of the timelines here, mm-hmm. they find a new continent. I feel like that new continent and a new Hyrule... But, but don't you take... It, doesn't kingdom. it take place in Hyrule again? Yeah. So but it's a new they don't Hyrule. make no. Why would they do that? There is Hyrule. New Hyrule. But oh, there's a new Hyrule. So this is gonna be. I feel like Breath of the Wind, Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wind, Breath of the Wild. A stick in the wind. <laughs> it's gonna fit here, which you know, was in between. It's, it's great that I'm not the only one who keeps wanting to call it Breath of the Wind. I always say Breath of the Wind. I don't know why. Do you want to read this, John? Just, I already know. <laughs> just Ganon like breathing into the wind. Just, and so it smells wind. like Pasadena. Oh, that's when I live there, I can say that. <laughs> it's I live there for a couple of years too. It so, does. on the timeline where the hero is triumphant, yeah, to, to the book, 
Hang on, hang on. Before we go any further, so for those of you, I'm trying to explain to the listening audience. So Nobody this, cares about them. I'm kidding. I love that's you guys. Rude. I know that's rude. They love me too. It's fine. Nobody loves you. That's the sad part. <laughs> <laughs> so there are there are three Zelda timelines. I'll try to remember this without looking. Um, there is the one where the hero is victorious. Yes. And then chooses. Well, and this is it splits at Ocarina of Time, by the way. Yes. Yeah. There's two at that. Yeah, yeah, there's where the hero's victorious and he decides to remain an adult. Yeah. Right. Where the hero's victorious and he goes back to being a child. Yeah. Exactly. And then there is the awesome one where the hero gets splatted against the wall like a piece he of silly putty. Yes. Yes. He gets... In Ocarina of Time. Yes. yes. Right. That was the last one. Yes. That splits it's up just, these three yeah. timelines. It's just, it's yep. weird. Right, so the one where he decides to be a child. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that's the one where he goes off into the forest looking for Navi and dies because Majora's Mask is about Link being dead. No. Which we'll talk about. That's actually the adult era. <sighs> That's yes. That the, is not. That's the adult that's era. That's Kid Link. I, I know it, it, it's. It's weird. Again, right? it's weird. Yeah. They do Kid Link as Toon Link, so it starts off as Wind Waker, according to this Matt. Which never made I'm sense to me. That, I figured me. because of the story in Wind Waker, that was the hero dying. Yeah. Because the uh, sages pray to the gods and yeah. they flood the earth and. Yeah, because yeah. there was no hero. Yeah. Right? And then it goes. So fix I don't your know. crap, Nintendo. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, and then it, it doesn't make to, any like, sense the to DS me. And then the DS1 Phantom Hourglass, and then in Phantom no one Hourglass, cares about they that find that I loved the DS ones. I hated the, the... stylus moving. See, that I don't get crap. that. I have this I argument with stories. I had the exact same argument with Britt, which is like, those games were great. The controls were just bad. I'm yeah. sorry, but like, this well, car you, you can have a great story hey, game. Let me explain it in a, a sense that controls. you can get, Junior. I'll say it in the sense of a car, okay? Uh, okay. It's like, this truck's awesome, but you have to steer with your kidneys. You know, you have to like plug but that it. wouldn't happen because I would fix the steering. You can't fix the controls on Ex- this game. No, but I cannot play it. But I want to drive my car, so I'm going to fix it. Does that make sense? No, I just I just screwed up myself. We are- <laughs> <laughs> Plan succeeded. I talked about cars. <laughs> Junior's greatest I, weakness, the vroom vrooms. <laughs> I really loved Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, though. They were really fun. They were really cute. I just couldn't. Phantom Hourglass and, and Spirit Tracks, they found a new continent, and I think that's where Breath of the Wild Wind Wild is going to take place. Breath of the Wild Wind. Breath of the Woo. <laughs> Breath of the Woo. Link is now a party boy. But those are so fun. Did you did you even did you finish them, man? Nope. You didn't even play them, did you? I played them. I just didn't like them. Like I ruined my DS playing that well, game. Don't forget, I'm a lefty, so ah, the controls yeah. for those games just ruined me That's entirely. Right. That's right. Because it's just like moving things, <laughs> uh, just like Kid Icar- Great games have been ruined many times <laughs> by poor well, controls, just you, like Kid Icarus. That was you horrible. Do is become a righty. A rainy? A righty. A, a righty. Righty. Yeah, sure. Righty ho. You know, they did that to my dad. Actually, my dad was a lefty, but because he grew up in, like, the angry school era of the 50s and the 60s, so they just said, no, you're writing with your right hand or you're not writing at all. That sucks. Yeah. We could try that with you. Yeah, we could try I that I tried with that with me. It didn't work. I have a metal yardstick. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you wear a nun costume, John. I'll put on the nun costume. That would scare me into just about anything. <laughs> Head, head, Mistress McGuinn, I tried my best. <laughs> well, please, one more, sir. Smack. Yeah. Oh, God, the, the visuals. So, the show's getting weird. So when he becomes an adult, the other timeline, when he yeah. wins, he goes, it's Majora's Mask after that, after, after Ocarina of Time. Which I don't get, because he's a kid in Majora's Mask. Huh? Right? Are you it's, sure you're reading that right? I yeah. swear to God. Let me see that. It says adult era, Majora's Mask. But see, you got to think about it. He's dead. No, but he's not dead in the... He is. He's dead in Majora's Mask. Poor little Link. He died. That makes no sense. No. Because you're a kid in Majora's Mask. You're an adult. What yep. it? Maybe he decided to go back, but to become an adult from a kid. Junior, you can't freaking read. It says yeah. it right there. No, it does not. Yes, it no. does. Read it from left to right like an American would, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, Look, on the left, you, yeah. on the left you have, and I'm trying, let me explain this so y'all can lead. Okay, on the left side you have the hero is defeated timeline. After that, you have child era with Majora's Mask, and then after that, you have adult era, oh, you scooch. My fault. I felt really dumb gonna, there for a little how while. How is he an adult? It's Toon Link. He looks like a child. Yeah, but that's like in but, the distant okay. future. This one. <sighs> Give me that. Take it. Take it from me. Right. It, you're just, you, you, it looks Okay, like, but that makes more sense then. Yes. Adult era. I get it. Okay, But, but it I just, still don't I see why thought... adult era goes into Wind Waker. The because well, that, that, was, that wasn't the same Link. That was the Link in the distant future. The Link in Majora's Mask was the same one from Ocarina of Time. That makes sense. Yeah. But the Link from Wind Waker 
was a link like in the distant yeah, future. Then that doesn't make sense because Twilight Princess, he's a he's a he's an adult. Well, I didn't write the book. I'm just yeah. telling you, like he's That's not the a part child that always, in Twilight Princess. That never made sense because okay, so you defeated him, but oh wait, he came back and there was no hero. Yeah, well, yeah. This is essentially how they linked. Yes, that's how they. Ha ha! They linked it. Ha <laughs> 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 Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that again. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say. Once again, I love that sound. I watched too, the, I watched the unboxing video, and when you turn on the system for the time, it goes that thing. <laughs> when now you turn I'm it on, yes. that's awesome. Now I'm never buying it. <laughs> <laughs> There's better reasons than that, John. Yeah, it's Nintendo. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. No, no I know. It's Nintendo. Oh, that's why. Oh, extra controller, $70. I think like they're... I mean, the, it's... They're going low over. They don't even like know how well it's going to do. Yeah, Xbox One controllers are 70 bucks though, too. I mean... But these are so tiny. Yeah, and those are too much. Yeah, they are. But, I mean, that's the good thing about controllers. People know you need them. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Anyway. Unless you want to be like Junior and fix your car to work with something else magically. <laughs> it's like, I, I have this beaver and some bamboo. Well, it's going to make me steer it better. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whatever. The, the so beaver lost. is going to make the, a better bamboo steering wheel to steer it better. Come on now, guys. The beaver's going to do it for you? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to train him. It's MacGyver here. Yeah. McBeaver. McBeaver. <laughs> Yes. So then, what else, John? What you got there? I think, well, I'm just. I think he's also, done. Also, when he I'm died, the timeline stupid. when he died, what happens? All right. So when the kid dies, Link uh, dies. Link dies. The kid. Well, you yeah. can call yourself whatever you wanted. You True. could. You could be like Jose, yeah. the hero but then of time. That wouldn't be the link between us and the fantasy world. <laughs> you know, so speaking of Link, <laughs> do you know where the name Link came from originally? Yeah. You oh. Do? No. Do you? <laughs> I literally thought that it was they, they named him Link because we were supposed to be the link between it was the it was he was the link Well, well yes. Between me um, and what is... I'm playing. In doing research for the show, I was on the most reputable sources of information on the internet, Wikipedia. Um and found an interview with uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. So just for the record, this may not be correct because it's Wikipedia, but it sounds yeah. pretty cool. Fact check. Um fact check somebody, not me. Um like, I had a hardest time finding the release date for the original Legend of Zelda. Like, I know it came out in um, 1986, yeah. February 1986 in Japan, uh-huh. when it launched for the Famicom Disk System, by the way, mm-hmm. which is amazing. Um, really? Yeah the, yeah, the Famicom had almost like a type of floppy disk thing. Like, you know how Nintendo likes to release things in Japan and we never get over here? Yeah. Uh, every um, day, yeah. One of those cases where, it, it, just like the original Famicom had microphones in their controllers, too. Ours never had that. Um Really? Yes. The, and, cool. if, and if you read in the directions, there's a certain enemy. Which one was it, John? Where it says it doesn't like loud noises in Legend of Zelda, and you were supposed to go Aah! in the microphone on the Famicom <laughs> controller, and it would be like. Aah! That's funny. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. So if you were as a kid, like, what am I? Saying? Great. Thanks. Nintendo doesn't like loud noises. What am I gonna do? Just <laughs> turn the volume up. But, um, so it came out for the Famicom Disk System, but the Miyamoto was Mi- Mi- Miyamoto. Miyamoto. Mi- 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 Miyamoto. Mi- 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 He's, Hello, he's so cute, by the way. My God, he is. <laughs> he's just—he looks like a muppet. Um, <laughs> he was discussing muppets. Okay. They called him Link. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the rest of the show will be done by Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Link was originally called Link because the Triforce was originally going to be a set of electronic chips. Oh yeah. And Link was going to time travel like you have in the later games between the fantasy world of Hyrule and the distant future, which I think is the coolest crap in the universe. I want to say. Distant future would have been like 2017. Like the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Like cyberpunk. Who would play a cyberpunk Zelda here? I I, would. I would. That would be so awesome. I would play awesome. Zelda, but I'm not a big fan of You need to see, like, Link with, like, a laser sword. Yeah. That would be <laughs> awesome. Cool. And, like, you know, energy whips, and Gandalf would have, like, a like a leather cape and be like, <laughs> like, in the Matrix and stuff. Come on. It's awesome. just bored Ganon. Bored, yes. <laughs> so, you just, so Ganondorf would be cool. Would, Ganon would be, like, a big cyborg pig demon tank a transformer cyborg. thing. Cyborg. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, that was actually pretty good, Junior. <laughs> That's that would be cool. For you. Thank you. Good job, Junior. Thanks, guys. 20 that's like, points. That's like you're right. one. What am I at? 20 points. Negative oh. 10. <laughs> 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 you're repairing a deficit. Um, but I would love that. So I think after Breath of the uh, Breath, of, Breath of the Woo comes wild out. Wind. <laughs> just wild Zelda. Wild Breath. Um, Breath. <laughs> comes out. There should totally be a futuristic Zelda. That would be pretty cool. Maybe. Yeah. When we're older and dying, they'll make one. Probably like right after, yeah, yeah. my hands fall off. Because I'm, I'm apparently 96 <laughs> years old now. So. Well, no, you're, you're not, you're like 70-something right oh, now. Oh, wow, thanks, Junior. Yeah. 
I look good for my age. <laughs> if you want to call that good. So uh, the timeline where he dies? What mm -hmm. what happens there? Uh, you go into link or uh, um, a link to the past. Oh, that's the crappy timeline. <laughs> yeah. Where I didn't everything's say it. going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's what they call the decline, right? Yeah. yeah, nothing really happy happens there. So where do you think, and we're kind of skipping around, but where do you think Breath of the Breath of the Woo went? I thought it was going to be in the, the adult. I'm kind of hoping it's a continuation of Wind Waker. I just love the idea of after the Great Flood, everything yeah, yeah, yeah. drains. That's, well, that's, that's, it's after Wind Waker and after, um, is that Wind Waker? Yeah, and then, and then Phantom Hourglass, they mm -hmm. find... They the find new a continent. new continent, and I feel like that's where it's going to be. Based where did where did where do spirit trucks take place? Tracks? Spirit tracks is after they find the uh, after they find the new spirit they, trucks. They do find like this new trucks. continent. Uh, new Hyrule is made, mm. and all this spirit stuff. tracks is born. And spirit tracks is in that one. Mm. Okay, cool. Dumb. So we'll see. We don't know. <laughs> it could be after Zelda but Two. It, I again, I'm hoping it's just its own thing. I hope they don't try to link it. They're gonna <laughs> link it. So. Time <laughs> Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Why do um, I do this with you people? <laughs> <laughs> so that's timelines in a roundabout sense. We, I think it's kind of a mess, but yeah. it's sort of like if you try to put Final Fantasy together, they're not meant to be together. They're not meant to be. So, and I don't think they initially tried to do, or no. should have tried to do that. I don't think they intended they just, to have this many they Zelda just made games, their either, games so. They just wanted and... to make a really big book for the 25th anniversary. Because yeah. the layman, people buy it. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. That's that's it's that okay if Nintendo does it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's kind of go, because we've kind of we, we, we might have diverged here a little bit here. We did. Really happen, but let's start going through the games here, and we'll just kind of go from scratch, and then I'll include any other questions along the way there. Okay. So, original Legend of Zelda, or Laws, as I have written no. here one on ounce. my notes. It's or One, one ounce, ounce, apparently, because L means one. Because um, of the font. Yep. Yeah, um, hey, man, it was Notepad. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I did not type this, okay? Someone else typed this for me. I knew it was... Someone it was Brit. Yeah, you better knew, believe it was Brit. Yeah, it was she was typing, and I was like, I was like, what the heck is a law? Is Brittany? She's like, it's Monica an was like, is he referring himself as a girl, or did Brittany write it? So, can we just have a brief moment of like, because we've <laughs> had lots of brief moments. Because you know, yeah. <laughs> Quick question, Blitz. <laughs> Which Transformer is your favorite? Um, no, this is not Transformers Day. Transformers cast. Transformers cast. <laughs> I'm recording that later. <laughs> uh, so, I forgot what I was going to say. I was thinking about robots. Sorry. <laughs> What is your brief Side moment of track. what? I don't remember. What was I talking about? We are talking about how Brittany wrote this thing. Yes. Okay. So, and? Legend of Zelda. Oh, that. Was. No, but it was it was cool. I forgot <laughs> what it was. <laughs> yeah, and I'm moving us along. Uh, <laughs> you'll remember later. No, 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 no. Okay, so we all work. <laughs> Let's switch to this. Um, game. A little bit of gaming. We all work at a gaming store. Mm -hmm. We've all had those moments. Or you have people come in and not pronounce stuff properly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like someone comes in, oh. it's like, can I have the new Elder Scrolls game? Scrim, Scrim, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto <laughs> IV. Have you had them argue with you though? <laughs> yes, we had that kid argue with us before about Grand like, Theft Auto. Like, mean GTA Four? Like, no, I mean IV. Yeah, that's four. Mm. <laughs> it's so yeah, cute. Yeah. Th there's these things, the Roman numerals. Um, what's that? Yeah. What's the Roman I don't, numeral? I, don't know. I just think that's really fun, and I've had. It's hilarious. It's the funniest thing ever. And there's this really cool shooting game about fish called Cod. Cod, yeah. cod fishing. <laughs> cod fishing. There's a lot of games about it, too. It's very do you have the new Cod? Yeah. Yeah, we do. It's uh, Bass Master or whatever. Just go to it. <laughs> For the record, if there was a fishing game where you could fish with a shotgun, I'd probably play it. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Scrim was probably... I don't think I've, I've never had a customer tell me that. So that sounds hilarious. Scrim. It's Sky Rim. Scrim? You just put it together. I mean... Scrim, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. It's uh. Spring Break. Can I have Grand Theft V? V. I've heard that too. Yeah, yeah. me too. I mean, it's, it is a V. I mean, it's technically correct. I mean, but no, <laughs> just no. no. It's, it's it's worse when it's an adult. Why do people feel the need to like abbreviate the name of whatever it is? Because we're lazy. D T A V. We're lazy people. Got. Uh, get tab. Get tab. Get tab. Okay, okay, that was not quick. Zelda. Okay, <laughs> so, Legend of Zelda, born in 1986. Yeah. Uh, Famicom disc where I talked about it. Logs. Um, one of the first games I can remember that. As far as on consoles, didn't use passwords. Actually, had yeah, um, it's well, the Japanese version had rewritable discs, and the American NES version just had like a chip that could save it. You'd write it in a pencil, Junior. You actually take it out and be like, "I am here," and the game would be like, "Oh, you're Maybe there." Okay, it would cool. remember. Oh, cool. cool. Smart. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, man. We're not allowed to lobotomize him, right? No, it's too okay. late. <laughs> it's never too late for a lobotomy. Y'all need me. You can't do that. <laughs> You're right. I do need to build a far more superior feeling within me. Yeah. 
Never All mind. Right. I was gonna make. I was gonna talk about heavyweights. Also, he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. No, it was just, Josh was bad. <laughs> Josh, no good. <laughs> if you haven't seen Heavyweights, guys, go. It's watch one of the it best now. movies ever go made, especially if you're a slightly good. rotund individual, like all of us are. Yep. It's it's a movie about Power fat kids. Power the fat people, guys. It's great. <laughs> So no, no because if you don't shaming. give it to us, we'll eat you. That's yeah. right. We're gonna eat <laughs> we it. We'll eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Wrath of the fat people. Um, so it had a. It could save onto the cart, which is awesome. You know the the glorious days of you know batteries and batteries going out. Yeah. All that fun. The good old days when you were forty years mm. old. I know. <sighs> I'm, I'm de aging now. <laughs> I'm in a time machine. <laughs> Um, but also, it made you think. Like the puzzles were really there. It took it borrowed very heavily from Adventure, which mm-hmm. you know, as much as Zelda kind of paved the way for future games, Adventure was really the beginning of yeah. it was the kind of an adventure game, I guess technically. But yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was interesting because originally Link started with the sword, mm-hmm. and people were complaining about not understanding what dungeon to go to and not where to go. So Miyamoto, being the crafty little devil he is said, oh, yeah? Well, now you don't have a sword. <laughs> so he would force people to communicate with each other. Because, you know, when you start Zelda, you have, what, four directions in a cave, right? Three. Is it three directions? You had the cave, you had left, right, and up. Okay. That was it. And you can go wherever you wanted. Well, If you didn't go killed. in that cave. <laughs> you had to figure, and it wasn't a tough decision, but, I mean, you could just keep going up all day long yeah. and try to figure and it out. You could technically get through the game. Could you really? Kinda. How do you kill well, anything? Wait. Could you? You have to kill something. <coughs> You're not gonna like shield remember. bash Ganon. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> shield slash. <Shields. laughs> I can't remember if there was an item that you could get before getting the sword. Fact check. <laughs> fact check. We I'll don't do have a fact later. checker, but one of these days we gotta hire him. We need yeah. to hire them. Yeah. That or I'll just try to play through the game without the sword and see what happens. There you go. Do it. But it was cool because it made you kind of think. I'm like, hey, cool. You know, it's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. And this random old man gives you a knife in a cave. And I guess that was okay. <laughs> yeah, and that was perfectly safe for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it worked. I mean, everyone else is dead, apparently. So yeah. they just link in a bunch of like octorks and or octoroks and Octor- octoroks, bomb bombs, bomb bombs, bomb bombs, bombs, the bomb. <sighs> Nintendo names, whatever. That's a weapon I'd love to have as a bomb. A bomb bomb instead but, of the sand rod. Just the bomb. Just the bomb. Yeah. The one from the Mario movies where yeah. it kind of like walks on ceilings and blows up when it wants. Yes. Do you want it to really blow up? I can't make it walk on ceilings. I mean, there's this friends. thing called gravity, but. I can do that. You're not trying hard. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll work on that. There you go. <laughs> Anti-gravity. Well, there's this thing called the Mach Principle. I was watching Ancient Aliens the other day. We're getting, we're you know, getting way off track. <laughs> Ancient Aliens? You know what? You got the frizzy hair. I I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. <laughs> so, John, you're our resident Zelda expert. What else do you have to say I'm, about the original game? I actually, on my notes, I have John fill in the blanks. I, I'm, I'm not the expert. I just liked playing the games. Um, That's more than me. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what did you want to know? If you had anything else to say about the original. Original. Um, I did. Part of me liked that they didn't give you any direction. You had to figure it out. Hmm. I think that's one of the problems a lot of games have now is they, they kind of hold your hand through everything. Save that. Okay. We'll get to that. Move on. All right. Oh, but, um, my. I already know he's going to talk about it. You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have even played it yet, so I can't say but anything. Either way. Um... But no, I mean, it did give you that that adventure feel where you were going out and you had to figure out what you were doing, and there was no direction at all, especially in the second one. There was no direction. What about left? The, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> there were directions you could go. They weren't given to you. I got, thank you. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> What's the next game? And it had a like the the instructions had the map. Yeah, the Not instructions. The whole map. Yeah. Well, no, because we someone traded in the that box Zelda one day, and we opened up the instructions, and they'd actually drawn in they had all to draw the extra, in stuff. extra yeah, parts. Extra yeah. Stuff. Not only is that the coolest thing in the world, I, I love looking at old instruction <laughs> manuals and having someone who actually wrote in the notes, like yeah. here's the password for this, go this way, and this is how you solve that puzzle. That's, That's always awesome. awesome. It's like when I had Mario or uh, three, and there was that puzzle where you flipped over the tiles and you could collect the different mm-hmm. power ups. I actually had all of those written out as a kid <laughs> from playing it way too many times. That's so cool. It's little, that's one of the cool things about working at a retro game store is you get to see all these little bits of history. And the games themselves are cool, but when you actually see the love that went into these games where people mm-hmm. took the time to do mm-hmm. this and to do all this extra work, that's really, really awesome. I see it all the time in Madden games. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never see that in Madden games. What do you games. see in Madden games exactly, Junior? Oh, like the plays and stuff. Like they write it down. 
That's still kind of cool. I mean, respect s- where respect is due, I suppose. I mean, yeah, I that's guess. still. I mean, whether or not you like Madden games, that's still that's dedication. Yeah, definitely. They love it. Maybe mis- maybe misplaced dedication. John's drinking a two liter of what is that, John? Water. Okay. It's club soda. Clab soda. Clab. It's crab soda. It's bubbly water. Crab people. <laughs> crab. Hey, I'm Dan from Fort Worth, and uh, I wanted to reach out and say my favorite Zelda was A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. And uh, really, my first experience with the Zelda series was for the Game Boy one, uh, Link's Awakening, I think it was called. And that just kind of threw me down the rabbit hole. It was like, man, I've got to go to these different dungeons, these different castles and caves and solve puzzles, you know, push these blocks, uh, reveal hidden items that you couldn't see otherwise, unless you had the correct item or you were at the right dungeon at the right time. And it was just kind of one of those things that just blew my mind because before that it was, you know, platformers like Mario or, uh, you know, run and gun like Mega Man and Contra or Castlevania, things like that, where it was just very linear. I'm going left to right and I'm done. And then you had this top down game where there was just so many possibilities of exploring. It just, man. And to think that, you know, it was started in 87 and here we are in 2017 and now, you know, we're on the cusp of the new one coming out, Breath of the Wild, and it's just wow. You know what? A, what a thirty years it's been. So we already talked about the adventure of Link, uh, big departure, side score, strange game, magic meter. Mm-hmm. Moving on, uh, Link to the Past. Anything we missed from that one? No. No. Junior, did did we miss anything? From Link to the Past? Yes. Anything you wish to share? I, oh, I never. I've never played Link to the Past. I, I do remember this. I need to play it because it's actually Link Between Worlds. It's apparently the best Zelda ever. It's apparently the best Zelda ever. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I, I did like that. It's um, right after you get the Master Sword, hmm. you essentially have to go try to save the princess from the evil wizard guy, and it kind of gives you that false sense that it might be the end of the game. And as a kid, I was like, "Wow, this is short." Because <laughs> as you're you're going to his little room, you're just given everything. Like, oh, here's some hearts. Oh, one of the enemies you killed. There's a fairy. You're full life. Here's some extra arrows. And then nothing happens, and you just get sent to the dark world. <laughs> I love games that had that. Because uh, Final Fantasy VII had the same thing, where you had a decent chunk of gameplay in Midgar. And you're like, this game is awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, and then it opened. And then it's like, oh, my. Junior, you haven't played Seven, have you? Uh, Final, Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII? I never beat it. <sighs> Did you at least get to the, the open world, world the I world feel map? Like it did. Yeah, it's been a while. It's that, been a long time. That was jaw dropping. Because there were some, there were some games back then that getting out of Midgar. That was the end. That of the game. was the end of the game. Because I mean, if you did all some, the stuff in Midgar, that was like twenty hours, right? There was there. a lot of stuff you could do. It was yeah. awesome. And that was my first Final Fantasy. So I did that. I'm like, oh, I'm almost done. I'm, I'm gonna beat Rufus, and we're getting out of here on the motorcycles. This is awesome. Nope. And then there's no credits. Wait, you mean you got to keep going? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Let's oh. go get killed by a giant snake in the swamp a thousand times so you figure out how to feed. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Final Fantasy Cast. We did this a couple months ago. <laughs> so, Link to the Past. Awesome. awesome. Yep. Let us talk a wee bit about the next page. Um, the next page? Oh, yeah. Okay, so when I said Ocarina of Time was my first Zelda, I lied. Um, You're a liar. I am a terrible individual. My first Zelda, regrettably, was actually Link's Awakening uh, for the Game Boy. Uh, I had to get... Didn't he need to be awakened? No, you weren't awakened. Well, wasn't he? The game wasn't was a dream. In a dream, yeah, he was in a dream. That Nintendo one. had a. It was a dream period, didn't they, for a little while? Because Mario Two was kind of like that, where uh, it was all a dream. Oh yeah, that's Mario true. Two was a dream. Mario Three was a play. Yeah. But at that time, that's why there's the curtains. Yeah. Yeah, it was a play. You're on a stage, which was dumb. <laughs> that was a really, really big stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so Link, you know, Link's Awakening, and then Link's Awakening DX. Um, even of all the top nine Zeldas, I didn't like this very much. It had lots of Easter eggs in it. It had Shy Guys. It had Chain Chomps. I actually oh didn't God, like Easter it eggs. because of that. <laughs> it was kind of, it was weird. Yeah. Um, Capcom did that one too, right? They did, I know they did the Oracle series. I know, I know they did Minish Cap. I don't know if they did Wind Waker. Not did. Wow, Wind Waker. Uh, um, you're, on, you're on a boat at the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah. I, Illuminati confirmed. Oh, again. didn't they do uh, Ocarina of Time in like 2D World? What? They, there was a somebody remade it into a. Like I know a, you can't see my face, but it's blank right now. 
What? Did Capcom do Ocarina of Time? Oh, no. No, no Junior. What? Just... I, I spaced for a second, but I sorry. It's okay. <laughs> We're in space. <laughs> Zelda in space. Oh. No, they... No. No? I'll do the futuristic one, but in space, that's a bit far. Oh, come on. He can hop in the rocket with Sid and be like... <laughs> Zelda Final Fantasy crossover. It would be amazing. It would. No. You know it would. No. You'd do it. No. What are we yeah. talking about? Zelda Final Fantasy crossover. <laughs> And for some reason, in my head is the DuckTales moon music, so apparently Scrooge McDuck is in there, too. (laughs) Welcome to the wonderful world of Matt's brain, where things just kind of show up and hang out for a little while, and you usually get crushed by a robot after a couple of seconds. (laughs) So anything else on Link's Awakening? I mean, it was... eh. I thought it was in part of the weakest of the series. And I know a lot of people like that one, but I don't know why. I couldn't get into it. For, I beat it. I for just, a Game Boy game, an original Game Boy game, it was definitely pretty broad. I'll yeah, give it that no, much. I'll give it that much. But it, it wasn't that fun for me. Mm-hmm. I grinded through it just to get through it. Not nearly as good as the next games we're going to talk about, the two Oracle games. And sadly, I still haven't played these. Those were good, actually. I mean, once again, you know, they're not... I haven't played them either. Um, that, go ahead, sorry. I was say Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. Uh, some cool things about those games is... This was in the time period of Pokemon, where you would have two games of the same-ish type, mm-hmm. and then come out. Yeah. You're, um, you're right. You can, I'm, I'm saving most of it for you, Junior. You're Relax. Right, right, right. Um, I was just saying as reference, because what would happen is you would play through one game, and you would get a get a code. You would get a get a get a get a get a code. And you would put that code into the other game, and it would change the way the characters reacted. So it would act more as a sequel to the game. And you could do this in either order, which is really awesome. Yeah, it didn't matter. It's pretty cool. And then that would unlock the true boss, which was Twin Rova. Twin Rova from Ocarina of Time remember the crazy two witches that kind yeah. of fused together and you had to fight her before she resurrected Ganon and she did this kind of like weird zombie Ganon um, yeah, you guys yeah, ever yeah. play Mega Man X6? no, no. I stopped well, you, know, you know Sigma right? Mm-hmm. Um, Sigma comes back again at the end of 6 but he's not quite back okay so he's like this weird like zombie Sigma and Zero beats him in this like famous either really poor dubbing or uh, translation or just because he's broken because he screams Zero, but it's Zello when he dies. <laughs> so you fight like that kind of game, like half broken, half zombified. Anyways, um, Who can't talk? both games were quite different. You would have Oracle of, I think it was Seasons, which was more action focused, and Oracle of Ages, which is a very puzzle heavy game. So you could get oh, different parts cool. of the Zelda experience in both games. So if you're like, but you'd play the action game and just never touch Zelda one ever again. Right. But Junior Junior has some some. No, no, you're fine. Is it theories or thoughts or? No, I was just saying that it's, you know, they kind of took it from Pokemon. Essentially, that Zelda ripped off Pokemon. Well, that's not what I said. <laughs> that is exactly that is what, what you said, said earlier. Well, that's not that's what, what I said. you I said earlier. A word. No, no like, we're repeating your no, words. No, no, no. <laughs> so why is that, Junior? Well, it came out after the Pokemon, and then the Pokemon you needed to you know play with each other to, to um. But in, in Pokemon, to finish though, the game, essentially. in Pokemon, you could finish the game with your starter and never catch anything else. Yeah, th- th- yeah that's what kind of what I did. Complete the Pokedex without having. But no, but that's not finishing the game, that. though. You get I get credits by beating the Elite Four. Okay, and Gary. well, completist or whatever. One, completionist. Completion. Completist. You. The finishist. <laughs> <laughs> Completionists want to beat the entire game. To beat the entire game, you have to have the full Pokedex. So yes, you can't but have full Pokedex to beat, full game. to but get that's the still not actually beating. The game. You're just doing it because you're, you're want. You're to. 100% in the game. That's different from beating it and getting like credits rolled to see the ending. Well, you would. You can't get an ending without having both games. You don't get the true ending. No, well, you still true. get an ending, right? An ending. Well, an there ending. you go. Not the. But it's different from Pokemon, it's, it's though. The Junior. same thing. I still get an ending after I beat it, but I don't get the ending I want. You're want. about to get an ending here in a minute, but I don't buddy. get the ending I want because I didn't complete the Pokedex without having both games. It's not going to be the ending you want. Does it do anything else for you once you complete the Pokedex? Yeah, you actually you get you, you, you get, get a certificate. You get a certificate, and if you have the Pokemon printer, or I the, bet it made the, you proud. It did. You get the little Pokemon <laughs> printer, uh, the Game Boy printer, and you can print out. The he has it on his wall in a very tiny frame. I did. I did. I don't know where it's at anymore. That thermal paper has gone yeah, it's, all black. It's, it's just white. No one's gonna believe it white. <laughs> he's like, "What's that? That's my Pokemon certificate." <laughs> Junior brings home dates and he's like, You want to see my certificate? Oh my, this small. <laughs> Mind you, me, I'm like, You want to see my wall of Gundam anime? <laughs> Wasn't the Oracle Somehow games... I'm not single. <laughs> what? Oh God. Wasn't the Oracle games where uh, when you, if you you could steal from the shopkeeper? Is that an Oracle? Was it? I don't know. I'm not automatically inclined to thievery, Junior. I don't I know. I, I thought Link's Oracle. Awakening you could steal God, from the shopkeeper. Link's Awakening? Then we need to go back to that because that was crazy. I've seen videos. You got in a lot of trouble from that. <laughs> yeah. The guy was OP, the shopkeeper. Yeah. Who killed you. He yeah. got back in the store. Yeah, he was the real hero of time. Yeah, he was. He's got a machine gun. <laughs> and think about it, an M60 would probably kill Ganon. Probably. Just, just say. Link's doing on a hard mode with a sword. <laughs> so if he has that, 
What's um, next? The Four Swords games. And I, I kind of have these all together. I actually included the, the original Four Swords, which is Link to the Past Four Swords, for GBA. Which was yeah. cool enough because it was a port of Link to the Past. Because they actually separate those, don't they? Mm-hmm. You can like select them when you start the game. Well, no, no. I mean, like in the story, I think they even yeah, select. Yeah, they're different they stories. They did like separate. Four Swords, and then there was Four, four Swords Adventures. Link Adventures. For GameCube, yeah. Ugh. I, great idea. The co-op was cool. I wasn't a huge fan. I actually have, uh, was it Triforce Heroes? I have that included in the same section. I um, couldn't get into those. I don't have any me, me neither. So. Aww. Aww. I've tried with a couple. I mean, it's a cool idea, but it changes it to almost more of like a portal co-op experience than a Zelda experience. Okay. Where the puzzles aren't necessarily hard. It's like, you stand on this switch, I'll stand on this switch, and I'll throw you over this wall. Basically, yeah. you need, but it was harder if you didn't have someone to play with. Well, I you had like go, dolls in the other one. I need to move so. this person yeah. over here, then move this person. It was and then very time consuming. Yeah, yeah, I just couldn't get into it either. So, not, not a bad game, but eh, yeah. not really Zelda either, I don't think. No. Not really. So, we'll just we'll gloss past that. Uh, Minish Cap. I were talking about it, some awesome puzzles, super cool shrinking. The he pops out of he, he spins out of bed at the beginning. Remember that? No, actually. He, yeah, at the beginning of the game, he like he he like Tasmanian devils or yeah. like rolls. No, no, he, he like flips. Oh, okay, flips. cool. Yeah, he flips. Out just of bed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> With that yeah, too much copy like Metroid thing. That's basically what he does. Spin attack. Screw attack. Screw attack. Yeah, yeah, he does that out of bed. <laughs> With a little ponytail and he runs off. And Zelda's like, let's go to the castle. We can't get a party. I don't think that happened. Zelda's a valley girl. And Minish Cat? It's like, yeah. oh my no, god, I mean, I mean, let's go that. party. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, though. I swear to God. So, Junior, really? you were playing a really weird version of Minish Cat with oh voice god. acting, apparently. <laughs> she didn't say it exactly Junior, like can that, I ask you a question? But basically. When you play a game with dialogue, do I, you... Do you read it out loud? I and, do, actually. And I, and I do the voices. The different voices and stuff? Yeah. That's, I've got some games I need you to play. I, I want to watch you play like, some games. I'm playing Twilight Princess and all the Gorons, the Elder Gorons, they all had a different voice. Oh, you know. It was awesome. I loved it. I like <laughs> I like you a little bit more right now. Yeah, I'm not even cool, kidding. That's please. awesome. <laughs> when I reach to my kids, they will have all these different characters and they'll know what they all And they'll go to like. school and say, Dad is out of his freaking mind. <laughs> Yeah, they will. Fine, whatever. He's in the garage talking to you his truck. Have those kids first. <laughs> I gotta have those kids first. You're right. <laughs> Life goals. I just want to have robots. I'm sim- simple man, simple plan. Those will be my children. Flipping robots with no souls, no hearts. So sounds no perfect. So quick side note. So I was driving. I was driving the game over mobile the other day, the and um, the game over mobile, the big awesome game over van. Oh, mobile, yes. Yeah. And I'm sitting there just talking about talking to Brett about how I'm just you know kind of normal and. There's this really bad country song called Common Man. And I was like, yeah, I'm just a common man, and I drive a common van, and my dog ain't got a pedigree. And she got mad because I was singing country music, and then she threw me out of the car. Anyways, <laughs> back to Zelda, sorry. It's a good song. Just a common man. I don't know what song you're talking about. It's Nintendo Switch. <laughs> common man. Common switch. man. Switch. Well, common switch. Yes. No one's going to have the switch. It's not going to be common at all. <laughs> it's going to be rare as heck. Um, let's see. So That's because g- Nintendo won't release enough of them. Nah, crafty little devils. <laughs> I wonder how many extra ones they're going to get at each GameStop. None. I highly think none. Probably, you're right. Probably not. I could ask someone that works there if you want that. That's cool. I could ask her, too. You could. <laughs> you could probably ask her. Right. Um, so, Minish Cap. What's well, after Minish we Cap? Have, then we have Link's. Link's favorite junior here. Um, junior's favorite Link. Do you know who Rovio is? Ravio? Ro- Ravi- Ro- Ravio in that one? It's Ravio. That's a long name, Junior. What? Mr. Rivio. No. You don't? No. Oh, you didn't play it, did you? No. Oh. Did you play it? Do you want spoilers? Don't. Damn. Spoil. Well, never mind. No, he doesn't want spoilers. I can't say It's a Zelda show. Cover your ears. No. Cover your ears, John. If I say it, he's going to kill me. I can't. (laughs) That's not my problem. That's my problem. No, because you sent me some picture earlier, and I was like, what is his talking about? Yeah, it was so funny. Oh, did you read it, though? I read some of it, and I was it's like, what? Illuminati it's like this, na- yeah, like, this name is this name. and they, It was just trolling. Like, okay. they were trying to put, like, That Ravio was Mario and, and some stuff. And... Yeah, so. Okay. But I was just trying to figure out who, if, he was, if there was something else behind who Ravio is. And Ravio is a shopkeeper. You know that, right? At least. Yes. Okay. His true identity. Is a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to kill me? <laughs> he's, he's actually, you know how Hilda is the is the the other world's 
the Zelda. Ultimate, yes. So Ravio is the other world Link. Oh. Yeah. So that's how he has all the weapons, actually. Because he gathered them from the other world himself to sell to me. Link. So you didn't have to get them. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not saying the story in Link Between Worlds is bad, because I love... Ever since I saw Wicked Spock in Star Trek, I've always loved the alternate... You know what I'm talking about? The original Star Trek where it was evil Spock and Spock had like a mustache and that means he's evil. It's like, you know, South Park with alternate Cartman where Cartman was really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where they got that from was Uh, evil Spock from the original uh, Star Trek television series where it was it was Leonard Nimoy, but he had like this goofy little mustache. So he was (laughs) evil Spock. (laughs) Okay. I I love alternate universe ideas of people, though. It's really, really cool. It's like a super cheap story thing, but it's always really interesting. I always thought it'd be fun that if there were alternate universes and I got to tr- travel to them and visit myself, that we were always the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Just uh, to rub it into it's... fate's face. I've, I've actually, I think it'd be amazing if John would go to alternate universe and have like this friend who was really big at, like not friend, but like another John who was big into yoga and like slam poetry. <laughs> He, his other version yes. would be big into yoga. Yeah, like super happy and, and peppy. <laughs> I'd kill him yeah. and hope. Do you guys know who Lobo like is? One. Lobo? <laughs> yeah. No. From the comic books? DC comics? No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's this, this awesome, like, space biker bounty yeah, hunter. Yeah, yeah, Well, yeah. his origin is he came from a planet of, like, immortal godlike clown people. Okay. And everyone there was super nice and super friendly, and Lobo hated all of them, so he killed everybody because oh, they wouldn't shut up. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so you're That's saying gone. I'd be Lobo? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> but <laughs> Riding your space motorcycle with your bulldog. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Lobo's awesome, by the way. <laughs> Just personification of cheesy 90s yeah. comic book characters. And now he's back in the new comics, which he's actually in the Justice League now. Oh. He's like, yes, Lobo, the main man is back. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so, Link Between Worlds, I actually had a question here. So, okay. you compare Legend of Zelda, original Legend of Zelda, that is, to Link Between Worlds, and you have quite a few stark differences. And it's not just Link Between Worlds. It's started before that. Mm-hmm. But you have the simplification we'll say, of a franchise. Oh. Or even, you know, even, it doesn't have to be simple, that's kind of a, a bad, like a rude word, but how would you say, made more efficient? Where, you know, the original Zelda, you have to go find your sword, and if you don't find it, you're just screwed. Yeah. Um, you have Ocarina of Time, where you cannot leave, well, you, you can glitch through, but you cannot leave that village until, until you, you get, get your, your sword. sword. Yeah. And they'll be like, hey, you can't leave without getting the sword. We won't tell you what it is, but it's over there. You can't have a sword, but the sword's over there. You know, like, they really kind of like, Force well, feed you the sword. Yeah, I mean, throughout the games, they kept making it just a little easier, bit easier. easier. Until now, they're just you. giving you the weapons, and you don't have to grab items anymore because we have this bar of infinite they're not arrows. They're giving them to me. I have to pay for them, obviously. See, now the world is. Sorry, that was my forehead hitting the microphone there. <laughs> Did you not know that? Oh, well, it's been like that for a long time, babe. <laughs> but it. My question. This. This could once again be a whole other show. Um, What's like Skyward Sword, isn't it? Like nothing but tutorials. That's why actually one of the reasons why I didn't finish Skyward Sword is because it made me angry. Mm. <laughs> Kept doing it. It just it. I felt as though it treated me like I was dumb. Don't forget to do this. Well, I mean, Navi did that the entire time in Ocarina. Hey, I thought for the most part, That's at true. least until the end of the game, Navi was t- one kind of useful because she'd give you like enemy weaknesses only if you asked her. You yeah. could ignore Navi. Um, well, then, and if I ever got lost, she would help me, too. So, I mean, that that's cool. Exactly. So, that's a good idea, not taken too far. And then, you know, in Majora's Mask, you had Tattle. Tattletail, I love that. <laughs> you know, the two fairies with Tattletail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. And then, in uh, Wind Waker, you had a boat. It was like, hey! <laughs> Let's go do this! You know, the boat would talk to you, and he would just go, hey! And yeah, and I know. It was awesome. <laughs> and then, in Skyward Sword, you had your sword. That wouldn't shut up. Yeah. Um, oh, what's the sword's okay, name? Was. I don't remember. I couldn't get through that game. So your sword is alive in that one? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the uh, I don't remember like the soul of a god or yeah. whatever. This whatever. cute little silver thing, a little pointy head. Whatever. Always oh, gotta have some kind of sidekick. Yeah, but I don't necessarily need it like, in those which games. One had a, which one? Which game had a had a hat with a bird? That was Minish Cap. That was Minish, Minish Cap. Cap. Yeah, Minish Cap had the and your hat bird. talked to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So there you go. And it shrank you. Oh yeah. But so, is it really a good thing though? How easy they've been making Minish stuff? Cap. No. Yeah, ha, that's why they were called the Minish. <laughs> well, no, they're Diminish. Pa- pa- well, they were the Minish, but the Hyruleans called them the Picori. Because they came from But they were guys. the Minish, yeah. Right. Okay. Minish. And they were Pikachu. Space Cap. Pikachus coming from the sky. Well, I mean, Pikachu is a lightning Pokemon. Lightning comes from the sky. So does rain. Yeah, but So do meteorites if you wait long enough. What's <laughs> <laughs> he's not a rain Pokemon. He's a lightning Pokemon. <sighs> and they look just like Pikachu. C- continue, Matt. <laughs> I've made my point. Point made. 
But I mean, do you guys think this is a good thing? No. No, no. hopefully, I really don't want Breath of the Wind Wild to. <laughs> <laughs> to uh... Well, they, they've said they they listen to people talking about um, Skyward Sword, and it's not going to be as tutorial heavy. I just want let let me roam, let me roam. Like the I land. have hands, and I'm a thinking human. I can hit buttons until I figure out what happens. But, exactly. But okay, if it's, if it's an ocarina of time, and I happen to leave without my sword, and I die a million, you well, obviously, figure it out. Obviously, I'm going to go back to the to the yeah. Time, so yes, it's just like my problem with the item shop the feeling of accomplishment of saying i went there and i got that hook shot i figured out that puzzle it may have taken me six i may have quit the game for six months because i was a moron well, and couldn't beat the I water temple the so, yeah, which I is mean... a fact by the way i'll talk about like that i couldn't beat the water temple in, for a stupid reason and Ocarina? i quit the game yeah what I, was the reason there was you know how you played a song and you can make blocks disappear yeah mm-hmm. i didn't realize there was one behind the chest oh <laughs> so i was like i like spent Kill days oh, oh, be, a, ca- camera angle yeah you yeah. didn't like rotate just nope. To, oh, okay. nope i didn't so yeah, I dropped the game for six months, said screw it, walked away, and then came back one day, found it in five minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some days where Matt almost killed himself. <laughs> but looking back though, that's great. Yeah. It yeah. were we're now it was like Look behind the chest, Link. She, you know, <laughs> I appreciate maybe not to that extreme degree, but yeah. having to figure things out. It may not be as easy. But it's much more rewarding. I mean, just just like you know, in in life, in some cases, where you could just you know be given something that's nice. But what if you you either earned earn it. something or you, know, you, you worked for? There it. is that satisfaction. That's, I guess yeah. that's, it is more satisfying. I must be getting old because it's kind of like an old man mentality. Where you used to have to work for our it candy canes did, back in my day. <laughs> And nowadays, people just give you candy canes and, and, and master swords out of a box of cereal. <laughs> Bringing it all around. Back on cereal, boys. Or I'd have to have the money and buy it. Exactly. But, yeah. Oh, God. Then you'd have junior. to work for that I, money. I don't. I agree with you, Matt. <laughs> I, it is more satisfying to earn it, to work for it. Hmm. I, having said that, I, I still like to link between worlds. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's fine. So I'm, I'm, we are all in agreement. Adjourned. All right. Anyways, back to the show. Sorry about that bump, so, yeah, folks. Hope, Rest hope in peace, head Breath of users. the wind. Wa- <laughs> Dang it. Breath of the wild. Just... Breath of the wild. Why is that so hard? Let me roam. The Legend of Zelda stick in the wind. Let me roam free, guys. I hope so. Legend of Zelda. I wish it was starring Zelda for a change. Okay. Why is on to it called that. Legend of Zelda and not the Adventures of Link? Because or... cause, 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 cause the royalty is more important and Link's just a dangerous mute lunatic with a sword. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but he keeps saving everyone. Or oh, not. Hey, are they going to have him talk, too, in it's, Breath of the it's Wild? Kind of, I hope no, not. Link's the only one who doesn't talk. Everyone else has voice roles except for Link. Everyone does talk, then, except And Link's Link. just kind of like... Yeah. Okay, cool. He, he's always grunted. <laughs> he's a simple man. <laughs> he's a common man. He drives a common <laughs> van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Link's set in, like, the late... It's Nintendo Switch. <laughs> um, I've always thought Link not talking was kind of like... Um, so so you always... can self-insert. Yeah. You know, where you you could speak for Link or through Link. Mm. I've always said unpleasant things as I Link. I know. I'm sure you have. <laughs> because some of those characters <laughs> are just jerks. <laughs> I've always thought of Link kind of like the prince from Katamari Damashi, where the king of the cosmos always gets all the credit, <laughs> yeah. and the prince is doing all the work. That's Link. It's always like, what about light arrows? And Link's just sitting there like bloody missing an arm. I saved the world again. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if Link could talk, I bet you he wouldn't say nice things. Probably Why not. doesn't the Zelda, or any of the Princess Zeldas, give you those powers at the beginning? You have to earn them. It's not about, it's not about being given them. It's not about <laughs> yeah, buying but, it. But if you, she has them. You can just buy Well, she had to charge them up. <laughs> they were still plugged into the wall. They're not batteries. <laughs> You're not shooting Ganon with the cell phone. Maybe you are. They do have kind of like that light, like crackly effect. You're firing Samsung, Samsung Edge Sevens again. <laughs> you burst into flames. It's, you have to do something with me. You can't take them on the plane. Um, <laughs> so, on that note, I on Zelda games we would like to see. I want desperately a game where you play Zelda. And I thought for a little while, Breath Breath of the Wood was <laughs> Breath of the Wood. <sighs> Was a game where you know, it's wind like maybe wind. you're playing a Zelda, and I don't mean Linkle like from Hyrule Warriors, yeah. which, which is just a whole other that's just bag of bunny rabbits. She's just a female Link, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. I want a game where you play a Zelda. Like I would kill to have 
like a stealth action game where you play as Sheik. Yeah, no, that'd come be kind of on, bro. Well, I mean, they or, or like her, they have her in Hyrule Warriors. But so you, just play as her. Yeah, but but you like, can't really count Hyrule Warriors no. as canon. It's just kind of fun to play. Yeah, or like a I've Ninja heard. Gaiden kind of game with Sheik, or you yeah. know, where you could switch between Zelda and Sheik and like you know blow people up with magic and stuff, or what. Assassin's Creed, like Sheik is yeah. her action form, but when you go as the princess, what? you can go everywhere and no one really bothers that would be you. Great. That'd be cool. I would love to. And I get the feeling Nintendo is afraid of doing that because they don't want to be. It's where Nintendo's super, super into being different and diverse and innovative, except for certain secure. Like Nintendo has a security blanket that is Zelda games, and they won't change them too much for fear yeah. of people not liking them anymore. And I can respect that, but. I'd love to play a Zelda in a game. That would be so awesome. Cool. Yeah. Like, and there I mean, actually was a game. Heck, even play. Mario did uh, Super Princess Peach. Which was Peach. an amazing game. And it was a good game. And a lot of people just were like, eh. And it, well, because you played as a girl. And I was so. Some, some people it was still like a that. fun it's game, weird. though. I mean, you guys all know my favorite game of all time was Mischief Makers, mm-hmm. which I almost yeah. <laughs> didn't play because it was a girl. But... Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. It's so good. How about if I play as Navy? That'd be kind of cool. What's, what would you You're going to play as the whole Navy? <laughs> in the Navy. Navy. I just fly around. So you're just going to fly around and, and annoy the hero Navy. the yeah, entire hey. time? Hey, hey, listen. A game where you tell him where to go. The one and time he turns and looks place. at you, you're going to be like, um, be like I got a, nothing. Like a really bad like Octodad game where Link is like this just like goofy puppet. And you have to point and he's going like, oh, no, we're dead now. And he just falls off a cliff repeatedly. I would play the heck out of that, actually. Right? Just saying. One of or Ganon. I would also love to play a game from Dana's perspective. That game. would be fun. Um, I'm okay of, with playing Because there's a couple of games, specifically Wind Waker, that kind of paint Ganon almost in a tragic sense. They do, yeah. Where he's yeah. power hungry. And if you think of Ganon as a character, once again, we'll go from Ocarina of Time, which has the most flesh out story that I can think of. Yeah. Ganon was born to be Ganon. He yeah. was born to be the chosen one. Right. You know, this this male That is Gerudo what he's and, fed his entire life. Exactly. I mean, is it really his fault that that's exactly what he ended up doing? Because he was born being told, this is what you're going to do. Um, yeah, but he could have not listened to them. So, well, I mean, it's na- it's, but that's nature versus nurture. It, it, at that they point, if everyone were to psychology nurture cast, cast into being crazy and <laughs> evil. And... Yeah. So, I mean, you can't, you, you can, obviously, he did the wrong thing, but you can't blame him entirely for simply, this is what you were taught from birth. This is who you are. This yeah. is what you're going to be. Off you go, buddy. Go, you know, go, go, be go kill person. the king and steal the princess and turn into a giant pig. Right. Um, Four. It just, I don't know, that would be awesome to be able mm. to play from Ganon and be the bad guy. And even at the end of the game, if you got killed by a Link, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'd that'd play be fine, that. yeah. yeah. You know, well, be... I mean, he does, there's a timeline where he doesn't exactly. win. Exactly. So, I mean, I you could, could play win. that timeline. Yeah. They should make that game. Mm-hmm. That would be amazing. I would play it. Folks, N- tell everybody. Nintendo, get on it. Someone someone email Mr. Nintendo. <laughs> right now. Right now, I'll do it. How would you do that, though, really? Like, go with the Ocarina of Time, where they do split off the whole storylines and everything. It'd be fine. You just, you, you're... Most of it's political. <laughs> it's just... Oh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna fight some people, but it's mainly assassinations and whatnot. You're saying it like it's a bad thing. You could also, I mean, if you want to be really crazy, you could get the guys from Fire Emblem to make half the game and have it be an army thing, or yeah. like leads his troops of stuff, and then you have chunks of third person combat, all Ocarina of Time or Wind Waker or any other freaking Zelda. Okay. There also, that'd be good then. That'd be great. I mean, what was that really really weird Tim Schafer game where you were Jack Black? And um, oh, Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend. Yes, I love yeah. that. That game. that game was weird because it was like real time strategy and third person they combat, racing. Yeah, and yeah, I had they did everything yeah, yeah. in that game. <laughs> that would be awesome. You know, they'll never do that because that's really risky. But that would yeah. be amazing, though. Yeah. I'd play the heck out of that. Me too. Yeah. By the way, Junior, I was supposed to ask you a quick question like you six did. hours ago. You no, no, no. This me. was specifically for you. You asked me about a Pokemon. In thing. the notes, I have quick question for Junior. Yeah, you asked. Zeld- Okay, well, it's another one. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> this is this this is for all the marbles. This is for at least thirty junior points. Are you ready? Oh crap! So this will actually not only put you into the positive, but twenty points of the positive. You can buy a candy I'm bar. I'm gonna fail. What you want, Junior? What are the three pieces of the Triforce? Oh, I know that. It's uh, courage, wisdom, and strength. Right? Am, am I right? Nope. Nope. You're, oh man! You were you're it, pretty much it's, it's power. Wis- power. Instead of strength. Yes. yes. It's the same thing. Whatever, guys. No, Come it on. isn't. Power is what I have over I've you. Thought, Strength thought, is what I can, you know, enforce upon you. I've always thought power. power. <laughs> I've always thought power was kind of funny. Like it was like like fortitude. Or, yeah. So did I get ten points? No. No. You get nothing. It was all or nothing. It you, was all or nothing. You're Sorry. still a loser. I basically got we love him right. Like guys. the three pieces of the triforce, like <laughs> s- smartfulness, <laughs> Smart. gumption, well, in, and uh, oomph. In the, in the other <laughs> world, for link, link between worlds, it's actually um, a gummy ca- bear. Cowardice, um, pride. They changed it. Like keep it, going to a negative. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pride and uh, weakness. And, uh, weakness. Is it really? 
I'm just guessing because that's like the opposite it's of power. It's definitely but... cowardice and uh -huh. and pride. Yeah, I can't remember what the third one was. You can be proud and be smart. No, you can't. Sure, you can. That's me. That's you. That's what say you can't. I'm a prideful it's, jerk, but I know not, stuff. It's not power. It's it's not working for you. Sorry, man. Oh. This is why you're three thousand years old. I need three thousand years old. I am a, now a high elf, apparently. <laughs> they don't live that long. Have you heard of the high elves? <laughs> which well, it depends on which book you're reading. Very true. <laughs> I could be the I could be the guy from Lord of the Rings, just be living in the with the the gray. What, what, where do the, where the elves no. all go? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no but, you know, they they get on the boats and they go, and there's a really long ending oh, yeah, at the end they, of the movie. They go to um. On the Oh. They go on the boat. <laughs> Everybody get on the boats. Somewhere. Where are they going? Is oh. New Jersey. Whatever. <laughs> That's where all the elves live. <laughs> in New Jersey. There's a really, really cool book called Monster. It's a series of books called Monster Hunter Incorporated. And it's uh, about you know people that hunt monsters like vampires and werewolves and trolls and stuff. Oh, cool. And I tell one of the new guys, like, all right, we need to go ask someone a question. We need to go find the elves. And he's like, oh, elves? Because this guy's like super big into fantasy books and Lord of the Rings and the D&D the &D stuff and everything. So he's super stoked. And they go to, to a trailer park. <laughs> And the elves are rednecks. <laughs> and the queen of the elves is this big, fat woman with a beard. And, so... and she's like, I'll read your future. Yep, that's right. You got to do this at noon. All right, y'all be good now. <laughs> just this big, fat, redneck elf. It's the best interpretation of elves I've ever seen. I want to read that book. Actually. It's so cool. So John's cool. looking at me like he just hates my guts. <laughs> It's great, <laughs> and then and then like the orcs are actually like the like the nice, responsible, respectful people. Mind you, they still live in the woods, but they're like nice and friendly. But the elves are like trailer, trailer park trash. people. Trash. Yeah, well, I like that because orcs are better than elves all day, every day. It's funny. <laughs> okay, let's 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 round this out. There's one more chunk of games we need to talk about. We don't need to. And we don't some... need to talk. Let's not, let's. Get oh no, buddy. Oh no. Let's get the only one. Okay, go ahead. So there are three Zelda games that were not for a Nintendo console. Yeah. Can you guess For what they are, reason. kids? For good reason. They were the CDI Holy Trilogy. <laughs> Link, you The Faces of Evil, thing. Zelda, The Wand of Gamelon, and Zelda's Adventure. So there actually were two games where you played Zelda. Gamelon, he's this guy who lives down the street, sells me, uh, sells me cheese. Um, <laughs> and then with the wand, apparently. Wait, okay, so to, just to, to... CDI games, you yes. don't actually play... It's, 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 you have to watch a no, video. No, no, CDI games, these were actually side-scrollers, a la Adventure of Link. Also, like the Dragon's Lair game, wasn't it wasn't a CDI too, the one that I... I Dragon, Dragon's Lair was was uh, like animated, and you just kind of chose different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like so one long So that's not like quick, this thing. No, no, that was like one long quick time oh, event. Tight. Uh, the CDI Zelda no. games... <laughs> just a little bit of backstory for those of you who don't know. Uh... Nintendo, what's the word? For, not outsourced, but like licensed yeah. Zelda for the Philips CDI, and mm -hmm. they made three games. Mm -hmm. Widely looked upon as some of the worst games ever made. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they were side scrollers that were just awful mechanics, awful controls, and some of the greatest bad animation I've ever seen in my life. Some video games like Dragon's Lair or Space Ace. They did have, it right. Yeah, have amazing animation by the great, amazing, love him to death, Don Bluth. Do you know who Don Bluth was? I don't, sorry. Uh, have you ever seen Secret of Nim? Yes. American Tale? Yes. Yeah. I that love guy. those movies. That really? guy, yes. Okay, cool. uh, Anastasia, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Titan A.E., all Don Bluth. Man, was a genius. What was the second movie you said? Titan A.E.? Well, that was no American Tale, the one with Five American Tale. American yeah. Tale. Five O. Five O. Yeah, West. Five yeah, five West. Yeah. I love yeah. Five O. Yeah, he did Titan A. He did the five things. But I, Every I awesome cartoon American that wasn't Titan Disney a. was Don Bluth, pretty much. <laughs> cool. <Okay>. Bob. <laughs> there's there's more too I can think of right now, but yeah, the man was a genius. So that's good animation. <laughs> and then these whoever did these games outsourced the uh, animation to some weird Russian animator. Like you know how Gearbox allegedly outsourced Aliens Colonial Marines to some schmuck that didn't know how to make a game. Mm. Same thing happened for, for Zelda. <laughs> mm. And if you haven't seen the animation, I'll put some of it up in the video, um, some pictures of it, but it's just like, you know, in cartoons where people are drugged or they get hit on the head and everything becomes all wibbly-wobbly and weird? Mm -hmm. yep. It's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, Link's cross-eyed. His nose Link. like 10 feet long. And <laughs> it's just, it's, 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 it's so bad. I don't recommend you play it. It's not one of those like so bad play it things. So just, bad YouTube it. Yeah, look up a let's play of Save that. Save yourself the pain and it's also really expensive. Yeah. So I mean you can get it, it if you want to collect it, but it's not don't get it for the gameplay. Yeah. Or for the visuals. If you want an or for expensive the expensive turret, I'll sell you a turret. Or for the soundtrack. <laughs> or for so, so all of it was bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't recommend it. <laughs> It's a pretty box, though. And you get to play a Zelda in two of them. So, hey! Oh, Maybe that's, that's why we don't have another Zelda game. Yeah, we can play Zelda like now. Because Nintendo was like, oh, those were bad. We shouldn't do that again. No. Uh, it wasn't Zelda's fault. Well, it's just <laughs> no, like... it wasn't. I, I, I hate to try to be negative with Nintendo because people get mad at me. But it's just like, they'll, it seems like they'll make a bad game 
and then people won't buy it, and they're like, oh, you don't la- you you don't want to play Metroid anymore. Cool, no problem. No, or, we want to play a good Metroid. <laughs> you know, we're never going to see Star Fox again because Star Fox Zero sucked, and yeah. no one bought it. Um, well, and that's our fault for well, not buying it, so we'll never see Star Fox again. Why yeah. was it bad? <sighs> did you play it? Yes. So you did I own it. it. Oh, so you did buy it. Yes. Um, <sighs> I never played Star Fox again. You want to use the motion controls, right? You do yeah. want to use the motion You're going to use them whether you, you like it or not. You should use the motion controls because yeah. the, mo- the motion yes. controls are better. Oh, okay. There was an option you know, this would to work turn... far better if you just used the motion controls. No, really. It did that. That's horrible. Um, and you could turn them off for oh. chunks of the game, but it would force you to turn it back on. Oh. And then it wouldn't tell you how to turn them off. You had to figure out how to turn them off. So it was pulling a Zelda where you had to figure it out. <laughs> but for things that you should probably not know how to figure out. Um, I love Star Fox to death. And... I just I could find so little to enjoy in that game. I'd rather I'd rather play Star Fox Adventure for the game. Star Fox in. is dead. A very poor third person adventure game. Yeah. So it's poor Star Fox is dead. And then you know the same thing with Metroid. I bet you Metroid's gone because people don't like Federation Force. People don't like Other M. Other M was just so whiny. Federation Force. If it wasn't Metroid, I wouldn't be that upset about it. But, okay. And then Other M was yeah they kind of killed. I think they killed Samus as a character a little bit. It, but, it was whiny sounding. Yeah, she wasn't this awesome like Wonder Woman <laughs> character. Metroid the best one. You know the best Metroid game in the past 10 years? Axiom Verge. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Enough that I bought digital and physical copies. Me, me <laughs> too, buddy. I bought that yeah, steelbook. I, I love that, dude. With the soundtrack, the soundtrack's in my car right it's now. Still <laughs> it's still sealed. So that was the last game that at least I have the for CDI now. Did, did I miss anything? I think we got them all. Those are all the non-3D Zelda games? I think so. I was thinking of including the two DS ones, but they're technically 3D. Uh, they turn. Well, no, they're still top views. I mean, they're not really 3D. It's like saying Link Between Worlds is not 3D. It's the same thing. You want to talk about them? Well, I mean, we don't, we'll, we'll talk about them next time. We can. We can. Next I time, mean, yeah. somehow we've gone from not having enough to being two hours long again. Oh, that's. Great. I don't know when that happened. Maybe somewhere between Kick Serial and Gundams, but it <laughs> happened. <laughs> we ramble like it always does, baby. <laughs> to my and cards. Hey. Say, say his name again. Fifo. Fight there you go. They're saying five o. No, <laughs> it's five-o. like this cop running around, <laughs> a little mouse cop. <laughs> oh, we were talking about. No, that's probably in the other ones. I thought Monica would say you were gonna make fun of my saying. Um, Vati is one of the. We weren't, but we can. <laughs> say it again. But isn't Vati one? She, <laughs> Vati. She, she's one of the. Latios. She's the bad Vati. chick in. Um, what was yes, the the, the evil game? is four swords, wasn't it? Was it four swords? Yeah, the yeah. Little, little purple thing with the pointy ears. Yeah. Yeah. She was cool. She seemed interesting. Cool. And if, all, if you was, couldn't hear Junior because he was 20 feet from the mic looking to the left, he said, she was cool. She was interesting. Sorry. But I didn't want you to hear that because I was whispering sweet nothings in John's ear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's Kool-Aid man. So walking in the door. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> All right, so I'm out of here. I, th- I think we're about done. Let's wrap this up. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, and I'm sure you do, um, Feel free to drop us a line at uh, podcast at gameovervideogames.com. That's podcast at gameovervideogames.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment. Um, don't be mean. I don't hate Nintendo. Don't hate me. <laughs> we just want Nintendo to be as good as they could be. Yeah. I just I just want Dreamcast 2 <laughs> and a Gundam. <laughs> Never going to happen. Yep. Pelican Dream, okay? Pelican Dream. Pelican Dream. You shush with your Matrix Pokeball stuff over there. <laughs> <laughs> but also... So if you happen to have any awesome Zelda stories that you want to share with us, because uh, I didn't mention this actually, but we're going to include in the show, um, I did little interviews with some other folks that couldn't be here. Yep. We're going to stick that into their particular game. So you, we're just going to stop talking randomly, have someone start talking. That's, that's where that'll be. I might say this at the beginning of the show again, just in case. But if you have any cool Zelda stories you want to share with us, drop us a line on you know podcast game or video games. Let or, us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah us we'll, know. we'll share it. We'll put it up on the show. I want to hear what you guys think about it, because I think... I, I want a good laugh. A few <laughs> A few people out there probably like Zelda. You know, I'm, a few. A few. <laughs> One or two. Yeah. It's the only thing that's going to keep the freaking Switch afloat for this first six months, I'm assuming. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Come on, John, just once. Come on. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and on that note, as always, I'm your host, Matt. Junior here. And Jonathan. Thank you for listening to Game Overcast. We'll catch you next time. Listen. Can you hear it? That sound rumbling in the distance. 
that sound can only mean one thing. Classic Game Fest 2017 is coming. That's right, gamers. The largest retro gaming convention in Texas is back for its 10th anniversary, and it's going to blow your pixelated socks off. Vendors, tournaments, epic musical acts, and much, much more await you at this year's Classic Game Fest, July 29th through 30th, only at the Palmer Event Center. Wristbands on sale now. Classic Game Fest 2017. More retro gaming goodness than you can fit into a warp pipe. And believe us, we've tried. <laughs> I was thinking of Lucky Charms. I just can't, you can't see them. I don't know. That's so pretty. Oh, man. No more energy drinks for Matt. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you're out. Okay, I gotta move while I can. John? I'm sorry, uh, all right? Go back. Do you guys remember 90s cereal commercials though? Like, uh, it was the Lucky not. Charms were easy, but then there was. Follow your nose! That's all you know, right. Tricks are for kids, and that poor rabbit, man. What did Fruit Loop say? Oh, yeah, follow your nose. Follow your nose, just Fruit Loops, <laughs> you <Sorry>. idiot. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs. Count Chocula. <laughs> when that was a thing. Cookie that, Crisp. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Cookie Crisp. Oh, God. Cookie Crisp. They were always kind of disgusting. Reese's Puffs. I love uh, Reese's Puffs. Lucky Charms was okay. Reese's Puffs are good. I love Reese's Puffs. I still eat those, but I don't like them with milk. Why? I gotta have some milk in there. What about, remember like, Kix? It was just like boring Quicks. orange chunks. I liked it. Was it Quix? I thought it was Kix. 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 It wasn't Quix. Q-U-Q-I-K-Q-I-X? Q-I-X. Yeah, Kix. Q-I-X. Oh, I it's was Kix. Quix. Just like the game, Kix. Well, the Q makes a Q sound. No. no Q-U makes Q a Q sound. I, I had this argument with him the other day. All right. <laughs> Jackie was on my side. You're both wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep, she's going to I'm be a putting teacher. this in the show. Oh. Keep going. <laughs> I don't it's care. Kicks, quicks. It's, it's kicks. It's kicks. Dude, I was alive for the commercials. It's kicks. No, you you were alive for the commercials. I don't even know. Yes, I was. We're I the night. Know what? Yeah, I forget you're forty. I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I don't even know what cereal that is. <laughs> They're just like little corn. Husk they still chunk make things. it. It's just a puffed piece of corn. Yeah. So like. It's like corn chips and milk. They're, They're little, disgusting. Oh, All right. It's like a little toad. All right, you know how you the, like your, the, your it's peanut like a butter ball. Cup. No, no kix not, not the food. Kix didn't even have a. They only they had a mascot, did they? It was just kix. It was like no, this boring red box. <laughs> or was, was it a yellow box? No, that was that was just know. Cheerios. Yellow? Was it? I thought it was red. It's yellow. The I'm box. gonna put it in the video. I'm just gonna have a. I'm gonna have a video full of like cereal kix. boxes. Yeah. Now. As, as we discuss <laughs> how old we are by the cereal that we have. Journey into cereal box. Yeah. Oh man. I still want a piece of the aggro crag. <laughs> Dude, Guts! I should build one of those. I used to watch Guts religiously. Yeah. And, like, I'd pick someone. Where I like blue, so I'd like, go, blue guy! I'd be so sad if the blue guy lost. I used to watch it and remember it was extremely intense, and then I rewatched it recently and was like, this is ridiculous. Th yeah. This is foam. <laughs> Why weren't they throwing something a little more dense at the kids? I mean, they were they had Iron helmets. balls, you know? <laughs> like, duck, Billy, pow! Legends of Do the you never watch Temple. Guts? I don't know what y'all are talking about. Nickelodeon Guts? Nickelodeon no. shows. What, what about the... Uh, the shows that y'all are Legend, Was it Legends nice. of the Hidden Temple? Legends of the Hidden oh, Temple. Yeah. I, remember. I, I have one of the... Uh, the uh, Silver Serpents! The medallions. I need to print a couple more of those. That's so cool. Yeah, I, I printed one. <laughs> what happened? What? Okay, okay. We're going way back. Junior Double Dare? Mm-mm. Nothing. Oh, I remember the ooze. Mm -mm. Or the slime. Or what? Mm -mm. The Ghostbusters slop, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, it's just... Oh, what it was, was it called? Gat. The show? Gat. Was it Gat? Gat. Was that officially yeah. what it was called? Or? Well, they called it... Well, there's there's bad reasons slime. why it was called that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drug references and such. Oh, oh goodness God. gracious. Yeah. Uh, no, Double Dare was this, like, old... It was like a tr like a quiz show for families, and then they had, like, an obstacle course, and someone got slimed, and... I remember that? the sliming, but I don't think I ever... I don't probably never saw it. Like, there was that. another one. I forgot what it was It was after that that took place sometime after... Double Dare. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this back to video games. Okay. Who remembers? I don't know what it was called, but there was like a video game trivia Nickelodeon show where at the end the winner got to go into video game world. And I think I'm well, you're as old as me, so you you I'm might try to think. And all they were doing is like you know how you have a, a weatherman standing in front of a weather thing, and he has to point without actually really seeing it. Yeah, and they had to like jump and yes, and it would like be in like Mario levels and yeah. stuff and everything. I'm gonna look that, this, uh, that entire show was based on video games. Yes. So they had to play games and compete against each yeah, other. Yeah, that was I can't awesome. Remember what it was, was called. Nickelodeon? It yeah, was it was Nickelodeon. early, like, early 90s Nickelodeon, because it was back when Nintendo was good with marketing, and they would, like, have them do all their kind of cool yeah. stuff, and just like the wizard. Do you remember the prizes they would give, though? No. Really? It was just like, here's this random, here's a t-shirt. <laughs> you know, think of candy, because you got second place. And those kids Arcade. were happy. Nickelodeon Arcade? That's what it's called. Okay. Yes! I'm going to YouTube the heck out of that stuff. That's going to be awesome. 
See, bringing it back to video games from from serial to, to old TV shows. Oh, like the show needs to be any longer. Okay. What will you do? That's another show. For a Klondike bar. <laughs> Not a lot. What, what you do for a Klondike bar? I love that show. Double Dare. That, right? American Gladiators. I love American that Gladiators. That was Nickelodeon. That was a Nickelodeon. That was like on USA. or. Oh, it says more like this. Okay. More like. Oh. Wienerville. Never seen that one. Me neither. What was that from? What about Clarissa Explains It All? I remember Celebrity that one. Celebrity Deathmatch. Wait, oh, that's MTV right wait, there. Wait, Clarissa Explains It Yeah, with, uh, was it Melissa John Hart? Was that her name? Did she have the little uh, Cayman Crocodile, like, little lizard? Salute your short. I, I just remember that was the, the, was the that? camp one. Yeah. Him. No, yeah, Clarissa Explains It All was the one where it was always the girl in her room, and she yeah, had a friend she, who would put the ladder against the thing, and he was like, oh, hi, hi whatever, like, yeah, yeah, that weird like, sound and stuff, and <laughs> some type of reptile. Yeah. No, whenever, like, whenever her friend, like, came in the window, it played this weird, like, little guitar riff, and it's all like, oh, cool. Mm-hmm. I have no idea why. It was like his like his theme was like three notes. <laughs> it was all they could afford. <laughs> or it was just easy. Yeah. Do you remember when we used to talk about video games on the show? <laughs> yeah, it was like 